Friday, everybody. Let me get a one if you can hear me before we get started, because it's definitely going to be smoke night. Definitely. And there's the one. Thank you, Capricorn. VN Training's in the building. Divested Sweethearts here. Divested Peace is here. Y'all got these divested ass names. Diane Young is here. Got Coco Goddess, Slimmy Slim, Colette, Sean Q, Lady Posh, Religion Free. Y'all up in this bitch wonderful i hope your week was amazing i hope it was drama free dust free i hope it was full of financial blessings excellent health safety all that good shit y'all you know we have uh have had our issues with um mammies now you know your safety is number one like i just said i hope y'all were safe all week and continue to have a safe weekend that's my, my only thing, really, that interests me as far as divestment goes, so that you can remove yourself away from anything harmful, anything that's potentially threatening. It, it's people that's not making it out of that goddamn area, and I'm going to call Blackistan the area. The, it doesn't matter whether they're pregnant, how tall they are, short they are, whether they're married to the nigga, none of that shit even matters. If you're a black woman, right? You are in danger around these people. And mammies have come up with all of their slick ass deflections about not all, all the same shit y'all y'all hear all the time. But they got creative this time. 
they got creative this time. And I have to do a shout out for that. Mammies, congratulations. You did get creative, but that also isn't going to work. Let me tell you what happened. Someone sent me a video. And why, I don't know why people with check marks by their name even give a fuck about us nothing ass bitches that don't have check marks. I don't have no check mark. We're just a small little corner. Yeah. But the handkerchief host said, I thought it was BWE, but it seems like it's more divestors versus picnics. You didn't think that shit, bitch. Your handkerchief head ass did not think that shit. You want to pretend like you're trying to do stuff for black women while not telling them about the dangers of where they come from or where they are currently, right? Don't you get your funky ass behind the curtain of BWE and pretend like divesters not necessarily getting along with pick me's and mammies is some sort of division. It's not. It's always been an issue since day one. Even where there's no, there was no such thing as divestment back in the day before there was color televisions, women would question each other about what on earth are you doing there? What, what are you doing with this dude? Every time I see you, you missing a tooth. Every time I see you, your fucking eye black. What's going on? And they always question why they friend went back. Even we, when we didn't have any rights as women, as black women on top of that, there was always a division. So because you're trying to appear fair and balanced to a Dusty, you're going to pretend like a divester saying, I can't fuck around with mammies because they're dangerous is somehow divisive. Let me tell you something, bitch. Let me tell you something. If you identify with a group of people that are taking people that look like me off the planet every five hours, it's fuck you all day, all day, every day. If you have any compassion for them motherfuckers, I can't get along with you. You're essentially telling me that my safety doesn't mean a goddamn thing. And bitch, back at you. How dare you sit up there and say some shit like that? I thought you were a hair channel. And I find that really weird because your hair be looking a mess, right? Your hair tutorial channel you might want to tune that up a little bit and stay the fuck off of divestor. See, because what you're not used to, you're used to people pretending like they was in some sort of ecosystem that they was by the president and trying to be feminine and cute and all that shit there. Ma'am, it's about safety. So therefore, you're going to get this smoke. If you're running out of content, say that shit, bitch. Say that. But don't try to jump your ass on divestor's backs. Because you see it's so-called the hot ticket. People started to click videos that say divest on it, right? So you're just going to throw a rock. Problem is, we know how to return that rock. See, these are not the old school swirl of divestors people. These divestors will throw a rock back, okay? Go back. Listen, over there, y'all telling people to put boric acid in a coochie, doing coochie faves, doing all this crazy ass shit. From where I come from, boric acid kill roaches. And that's not going nowhere near my, my crotch area. But you do you, if it works, do your thing. I think you should stick to that. You don't see me up here telling folk how to do their hair because that's not my thing. I, I, I'm not going to do that. But you picked, you picked that as the content of your channel. Pick someone else to try and start smoke with. How about this part? Start with the manosphere, okay? You should be hyped and ready. Your coochie's full of boric acid, so you should be hyped and ready to fucking go. Leave divestors the fuck alone. I am not getting ready to get along with a pick me or a mammy because they desire the men that want to fuck us up, okay? And I placed a picture of this weirdo in my Discord so those who are on my Patreon know who the fuck this is. Stop it, girl. I don't have any issues with you, but what you have to do is stop fucking with divestors because we're looking out for your safety. Let's keep that part real. You're a black woman. We say black women need to be safe. We're looking out for your safety. And did you come back? Oh, it looks like it's not a thing about black women. It's about pick me's versus divestors. Girl, bye. Aaliyah, welcome to the panel, boo.
Oh, hey, hello, everybody. Hello. Um, you know, it's not so much if they throw us a rock, I'm throwing back a motherfucking bomb. So you already know, you know, and what gets on my nerve is that I keep hearing the same arguments against divestors over and over again from these whores. And I keep hearing how a lot of your men are unicorns, but I need a mammy to enlighten me as to why your numbers are so horrible across the board if we are just simply black male bashers and your men are so good. Cause you got bitches sitting at home calling themselves nappy headed. Since you got commentary, I got questions because even if you take black femicide off the table, I haven't heard a reasonable explanation as to why your domestic violence and intimate partner violence rates are so horrible. I haven't heard why the sexual assault statistics are through the roof, why the out of wedlock birth rate is so abysmal, why single motherhood is running rampant, your neighborhoods are complete shitholes riddled with crime and violence. Tell me why your daughters are seeking out medical treatment for infections, potential pregnancies, and STDs as young as 12 years old because the states have already made it law that your teens and preteens can seek medical attention without parental consent. And, you know, could it be because mammy bitches like a lot of you care more about your men and their feelings and what's being said about them than what's happening to your girls? And on, to top all of that off, there are way more of you in poverty than living well. So I need you to explain this to me without talking about what other groups of men also do to their women. We're black. So I'm going to talk about black men and black women. So please explain how all of this happens on your watch with so many kings and queens and unicorns hanging around are you gonna lie and say that none of this is the case or that all of this is made up by women who are just upset that they can't get black men is that really what you dumb bitches really think that all of this is about so spare me with this can we all just get along talk to the answer is no we cannot because we are not all the same, sis. You and I are not cut from the same cloth. I'm not trying to be picked by your men. You are. And where <laughs> I'm doing, you know, and you know, where will you pick me and you other bitches when that we're supposed to be getting so friendly with now? Where were you when we were being called bed winches and everything else? That's what I want to know. Oops. Oops. Let me add something in there. First, let me talk about this comment real quick. Thank you for being here, Sarah. She says, please incorporate more Christian message and divest. It occurs to me, listen, I respect your religion. Let me just put that out there first. The dude that's over Christianity, they call homeboy Jesus. When I was being molested at seven, I asked for help and apparently he left me on red. So I don't believe in that at all. But if you want to talk about it, that's cool. And if you want to uh, practice Christianity, that's amazing. If that edifies your soul, more power to you. But I'm, I'm not on that and I apologize, but I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. And that's as respectful as I could have put that. Okay. I was about to say she must not, she must be new here. <laughs> yeah, that's as respectful as I can go. Jesus was not fucking with me when I begged for him to come and get the bullshit that was happening to me up off of there. So he minded his business. I'm on my mind. That part. It's on you. Well, I, I, well, I would comment, but I don't respect your fucking religion, so I'll just be quiet. Damn. Mm -hmm. She out. Mm. Woo, that's why I love y'all because look I feel the same way it is what it is what it's like my grandma say it is what it T.I. is because I'm trying to ask yeah. this though I agree like women some praying ass women they are they religious as fuck and y'all have been asking for a lot of shit and I haven't seen it delivered in the 44 years I've been on this planet that's why it's time to try something new as far as your life goes, you do what you want to do. Be Christian, Muslim, whatever you want to do. I just can't incorporate that. It would be so disingenuous for me to start talking Christian because I'm, I, I don't even believe any of that shit. Honestly, you could get some good shit out of the Bible allegorically, but I, I don't believe. I don't. I'm not a believer. Okay, I had to put that out there. 
Go ahead, Ebony. We happen to have a Christian up here. See how we respect each other, goddammit? Cut your camera off, Ebony. Let me remove you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I had to remove you, boo, because you, you came on. Okay, it's off now. Welcome back, boo. Okay, dear. Look. <laughs> I heard the Lord. He and 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 he talked to me. Okay, look. Christianity's fine. Judaism is fine. Islam is fine. All the Abrahamic religions fine. But when you decide that you know, uh <laughs> that your religion runs everything, I think that's a no. Mm -hmm. And it's coming from a Christian here. I'm a Christian. I told you we respect Christians up here. I just cannot practice it. Yes. Okay. I mean, and, and, and it's okay if you don't practice it, actually. Mm -hmm. You don't have to practice it. Jesus never went around from, from place to place knocking people out saying, believe in me or else. <laughs> Jesus never did that mess. Jesus never did that mess. Okay. So, you know. <laughs> Let me add I, something I, in here real quick, Ebony. Um, before I lose my train of thought on it. Handkerchief head with the hair that needs improvement while having a hair guru channel. Okay. Um, she spoke about it being corny to have group think everybody's in, in the group and they have to all believe the same thing. This Christian conversation just made that debunked, but whatever. I don't like the group thinking. I don't like where things are going. Where the fuck were you when black women was on group think talking about black men were sexy? Where were you when the whole teps in them was trying to make group think saying every white man was the devil? It seems like you only think group think is evil when you don't believe in what that group thinks. Okay. Where were you when BLM came? Isn't that group think? Isn't black girl magic a blue, a, a, a group think what's going on here? Everything is not making sense. And I'm gonna need it to make sense. Well, it's never going to make sense because group think is okay. If it soothes the black man's ego. Yep. If it pops up the black man's image. And I'm just going to be honest about the whole situation. I never wanted to have a child by any of them. Yeah. Sorry. There sorry, not no sorry. Thing. Okay. No thing. She just saying shit just to be saying shit. Because if she actually listened to this show, everybody on this panel don't agree on everything all the time. So if she actually listened Instead of just running her goddamn mouth like a lot of them do, we disagree on shit all the time. So that there, there is no group think. We don't all think the same. We don't all share the same the same opinions. So miss me with that bullshit. They just be want something to fucking talk about. Like DZ said, it's so it's about content. You just you're looking there. A lot of these hoes are looking for content. And I told DZ a few weeks ago. They they are about to start some shit because that's what always happens when content slows down. Some stories start drying up and they see that black love ain't hitting no shit. Don't nobody want to hear that shit because they see how these niggas keep showing their ass and embarrassing the fuck out of black women all over social media. So every time that black love ain't hitting no shit, they ready to start and pick fights with other goddamn groups. We black love does not exist. No, It, it never did perfect. and it never will. So Let she, it go. She's taken up. Let's keep this real. She's taken up for black men. There is that's the only reason you would have an actual problem with me is because I don't fuck with black men. Never have, never will. That's just how it is. But while you're taking up for them, they all over the intrawebs making sure they don't take up for you. It's that part for me. I was on TikTok because I can go on TikTok whenever the fuck I please. And this is the type of shit I'm seeing, right? When I said I prefer white women over black women, now I have a bunch of fine as black women degrade me for free. They use degrading you as interfuckingtainment. And here you go. 
cutting your camera on, talking about how divesters and pick me's need to get along. It ain't going to never happen. It's never going to happen. There's too many things wrong with that relationship. Okay. This, this, this is your men's talking about you. Why haven't you addressed them? Pick me. Cause that's what you are. You're fucking pick me. Why haven't you addressed them? You got a group of people that's talking about you need to get the safety. And you got another group of people talking about you ugly and, and, and you do nothing right. Your coochie stinking, all that good shit, right? But when you cut your camera on, you decided to pick a, a fight over here. Interesting. There is endless amounts of this shit on the internet, but you want to talk about divestors. These your sons and your brothers and uncles telling the whole world that you ain't worth a goddamn, Period. We can do this shit all goddamn night. We can do it all night. Let's go. What were every last one of them look repulsive. Girl, what were y'all doing when this was happening? Let me show you what you was doing. You got your ass up here and started begging. You got your ass up there and tried to provide some fair and balance and logic. When they're asked about you, they always throw your ass up under the bus. Right. Let's see what else you fucking did. Cause this shit is whack and it's very, very corny. Oh, I'm actually having add, fun. They try to practice necromancy too, trying to breathe life into dead ass situations and dead ass demonic men who don't give a fuck about them. So let's add that as well. Check it out. When asking a black woman with all this shit y'all just saw, do you like non-black men or do who do you prefer L let's see what they said it's the best ethnicity to get with black men of course my black chocolate men you see a guy like me would you smash or pass 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 i heard saying they love the black kings i mean i'm half black but they ain't out here showing the brothers no love that's you that's you leave me alone if you're gonna be stupid just just go just go there's so many other things you can write or talk about OK, this is what y'all do when somebody asks, you know, how do you feel about black men? What ethnicity do you like? And this you after all of those screenshots I showed y'all, that's y'all. This is embarrassing to me because I happen to be a black woman. And this is y'all upset that they don't want you. You're going to have to get over it. <laughs> You're going to have to get over it and move on. They're going to see to it unless you're ready to share him. With seven other bitches, you gonna get over that shit, ma'am. Period. It's on you, Elite. Uh. You know what people have to understand is that that you know, as divested women, we've already done what we needed to do. Mm -hmm. We know seen this bullshit. We know the community is trash. We know the men are trash. And a lot of the women are trash, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, but what they don't seem to understand is it doesn't benefit us to try to save women who don't want to be saved. So I am here out of love for the woman who runs this channel and nothing more. I don't stand to gain anything by jumping my country ass on this panel twice a week besides to try to help that one young lady that's out there listening and she feels like she's different, appreciate it or that her feelings don't matter because this community is overrun with barbaric disrespectful ass creams that you call men and the mammy's chasing them around begging for ex acceptance you know i don't gain anything but enemies by doing this i don't have a channel and i don't want one I am here to support a woman that I have cultivated a friendship with and I support her and her channel because I believe in the message and I want to see her win. And I know that's a difficult concept for a lot of you backstabbers to grasp, but I will be here for as long as she wants me to be here and not a minute after. And when she's tired of doing this, I will be on my way as well. So don't worry yourself about when I'm leaving because you can trust and believe that I don't give a flying fuck about YouTube or it's YouTubers. That's why this is the one and only panel you will ever hear me on. And that's it. You know, I told DZ many times that I can put up with half the bullshit that she puts up with from these escape mental patients. So trust me, there is nothing to gain by any of us by getting up here doing this besides the love of black women and girls. That's it. And the thing is, I love me some black women and girls, especially when they head on right. And you would think that that would be something Everybody can, let me use your word, group think about it, huh, bitch? 
you handkerchief head ass motherfucker you are trying to send these women to their death period because you're not sending them to a, a community that's known for marriage family economics none of that shit you're sending them to their death but hey as long as you got a black person with another black person that's supposed to be all good this motherfucking bitch said they just don't like people that want to be with people that look like them girl bye you only gonna be with him long as he letting your ass breathe okay and if you got some kind of kink where you like being with motherfuckers that hate your your group of women then by all means do your thing another one that's on you hello dc hello ladies i hope everyone's having a great night I am. Um, so I was in a good mood eating my uh, dinner from Whole Foods hot bar and I did not know what the topic was going to be. And now I'm fucking hot because um, this trend of when all else fails, bring divestors up for views is really just taking off on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I'm really sad because first of all, I don't want to give this person shine, but this is someone who I followed for years and it's ironic. And someone said it in your chat just now. I'm sorry. I'm really angry if I'm speaking loud. She just made a video recently saying all the beauty YouTubers are now transitioning to lifestyle and other topics to get more views. And now she's putting divestors in her title. And I'm not going to say her name or anything like that. But for anybody Please who doesn't understand, no, 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 I'm not. Me. I'm angry. She doesn't deserve this, this live right now. She doesn't even deserve to hear this. But for anybody who's confused about what kind of person we're talking about, as someone who followed her for years, let me explain it to you. This is a woman, if you're going to talk about groupthink, the reason why I had to fall back from her, it was around 2020, is because this woman is a self-proclaimed Bernie bro. That's groupthink, okay? She made wow. videos supporting Bernie. Second, this is a woman, and I don't mean to judge because I tried to have empathy. Like I said, I liked her. I've lived in California. I know how it can be, and I know how it can be a bit hostile. And so when she said she only wanted to date her own kind, I was shocked. But I was like, you know, maybe it's because you're such a minority of a minority of a minority in Cali. You kind of just get excited to see somebody close to your skin tone. So I was trying to be empathetic. But then she actually put up videos where she was discussing. I'm, I'm going to break it down for you guys what kind of person oh, hold, this is. Hold on a second. Another one. Hold up. It's something I'm like sorry. It's I'm upset. I, no, it's okay. Oh, upset. it's my hoops. It's my. Let me take my earrings off. I'm sorry. I'm, just, okay, I'm really angry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> so. All good. So she made videos, check this out, ladies. She made videos talking about her experiences with online dating, dating makers. It got so bad on a date, she had to escape through the basement of a restaurant. She had to have the wait staff get her out through the alley, guys. This is how desperate she is for black love. You want to talk about groupthink? Okay, how do I know this information? Because it's on her channel. I'm really angry. For her to come at divestors, really? Groupthink? But you're falling for BLM, you're falling for Bernie bros, you're falling for uh, black love. Um, and really, uh, in a way, and, and as in, she's very intelligent, by the way, not only um, not only well educated, but you can tell she's well read and well spoken. You would think she'd be smart enough to not conflate divestment with swirling. You guys mm -hmm. have said ad nauseum divestors are not necessarily swirlers. She's conflating it like everybody else who doesn't like divestors is doing. I thought she was smarter than that. Like I said, this is someone I had respect for. Furthermore, furthermore, because I have a very long memory, she said in one of her lives, in one of her videos, the reason why I choose to date my own kind is because I don't want to have to explain to a guy why I'm wearing a scarf on my head at night. Ma'am, all the black dudes do is make fun of that scarf on your head throughout Thanks. social media. This is what came out of her own mouth. No lies. Like probably three or four years ago. That's how long I've been watching this chick. Like I said, I fell back in 2020 because she really went ham with the Bernie bro stuff. She was calling the, the current vice president Kamala the cop. She was way, you know, off off the um, rails for me with the um, uh, BLM type of, uh, you know, stuff. Uh, additionally, this is a woman who went to a very elite university. Okay. So her circle really is like, white males and white women who went to good schools and more, you know, from nicer backgrounds. She's not, it would make more sense actually if she was gonna hate on swirlers, it makes no sense. It would make more sense if she was a swirler based on her own uh, background and education and exposure. You see what I'm saying? And I'm sorry if I sound angry, I'm not angry, but I'm getting tired of this trend of everybody coming for you and people like you for being genuine and actually caring about black women because you have, all of you from Ebony to even some of the other divestor channels have said ad nauseum, we are not a swirling uh, movement. 
We're trying to, and you said yourself ad nauseum, I can't talk about lifestyle issues when I'm trying to help women and girls stay alive. That's yeah, what you said your, your mission is. You said, I mean, but like I said, in a way, yes, I think it's gross she's doing this because I thought she was smarter than that. But in a way, it's like she said herself, all the so-called beauty gurus are now transitioning to get views in other realms. And I guess she's doing the same. And she's like, hey, let me see who, who's getting everybody's panties in a bunch. Oh, I know. It's those divestors. Let me make a video well, about she them. She's picking the wrong goddamn group. Exactly. She, might, she must have not checked on divestors in a couple years because divestors stop with the, I'm going to take the, when they go low, we go high bullshit. No, bitch. When they go low, we go straight to fucking hell. No, I'm going to ask you. No, that's what I said. One. Right. I was in a good mood before I heard who we were, before I realized who you we were talking about because she did get the wrong one and she's smart enough to know better. She knows this isn't about swirling and she knows the data and she knows about black femicide and how the rates in this country, she's smart enough. And she can say, listen, I'm not around Blackistan all the time. I live in SoCal and I, you know, I'm sort of in my own world. Sweetheart, you're actually going and looking for grapes on Tinder and shit. You're going looking for the fucking trouble. If you have to fucking do some underground railroad shit and leave a restaurant through the basement and head out through an alley because a fucking black dude scared you so much during the date, what the fuck? I would divest from all fucking males at that point. I would be fucking terrified. My I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It just seems like to me that these women would rather die. Exactly. They would rather die than leave these guys alone. And that is the saddest commentary that you can actually have. I mean, DZ has been here week after week and month after month trying to basically say, hey, ladies, you're worth more than that. You know, do better. You know better now. No, no. So they would that's rather just an die. Excuse. That is just an excuse. It, it, you are exactly right. They are not asking about why you wear bonnets, baby. They already know. I mean, you got a thousand goddamn hair guru channels on here that tell exactly why they wear scarves and bonnets and all type of shit when they get ready to go to bed. So that's just another way of deflecting, saying, you know, I don't I don't know why you would want to do that because you shouldn't have to explain that. to. You don't have to explain shit to anybody you don't want to. OK, that's number one. Number two, those scarves, those same black men said that they, they don't like your hair, your bald head, your long hair, your weave, your scarf, your bonnet. They don't like shit about you, period. So saying that um, you don't have to explain it to some motherfucking white dude, you, look, fuck out of here. They Y'all don't know? want you, ladies. They no. don't. If they don't want to talk to white men or date white men or whatever the case may be, don't come up with these bullshit ass excuses for why you don't want to. Who gives a fuck about why you wrap your head or why would you feel like that even has to be topic of discussion? Especially, I mean, that's why I say they just making up shit. You don't have to make up shit if you if, that, if it's not your thing. That has absolutely nothing to do with divestment. It, it don't even have anything to do with day now because it's going to be a while before he's sleeping over anyway, hopefully. So, I mean, why would that even be the topic of discussion? They just be saying dumb shit. I'm sorry, at DC, um, somebody corroborated what I just said in your chat. Somebody else saw that uh, video I'm talking about. She did. She was, I, 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 I can't remember the commenter's name. She had to go to three white staff members at the restaurant, ask for help. The two brads even offered to confront the guy. She was like, no, 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 I just want to get out of here. But it was actually three white people that had to get her to safety through the freaking back of the restaurant. And Dude, they have to go to white age. people for everything just to keep it all the way real. These bitches are weirdos, okay? What I got on the screen right now, y'all, when I first saw this, damn, I need to subscribe to my own channel. I didn't know I wasn't subscribed to my own channel. <laughs> when I first saw this shit, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me because y'all remember Oscar the Grinch um, from Sesame Street? That's what I thought I was looking at, okay? Her uh, little message right why are black women still at the bottom of all women what if white boys are providing and protecting they said listen okay they she basically said we we are easy fuck you know what else i'm noticing y'all when women use the word melanated you can almost bet that this bitch is some sort of mammy it's very few women that use that word right and they're not a mammy I don't know why they gravitate towards melanated, but it is what it is. Okay, listen, listen to Oscar the goddamn Grinch. 
And I hope your monkey ass is out there watching. I hope you are. Because that link going to be available to you, Oscar. Come on. Oh, they see. When they see us. When I say us, I'm talking about us as the people that is melanated. And y'all know which melanated folks I'm talking about. So don't sit here and play me like y'all don't know what I'm talking Is that a monster or what? Look at her face and how big her eyes are. She turned the camera on. So when the camera's off, baby girl, if I saw this, the way she's holding her face right now, first thing in the morning, I would probably scream to the top of my lungs. She wants y'all to know that white men view y'all as just an easy fuck. And why aren't you on the top if they provide and protect? I'm going to get on that. Please, somebody remind me of that shit. Let me finish this horror up. Talking about anyways i'm gonna tell you a little bit about this right here tiktok don't silence me but anyways this will never happen i'm gonna tell you a secret all these years we've been sitting here doing a hanky panky with them have any of them ever stood up gathered together the ones that's supposed to be melanated lovers have any of them ever gathered together went down to the courthouse to fight freedom and justice for us no, but our bodies look good to them. Our minds ain't good enough for them, unless you got a bachelor's or a, a master's degree or a PhD. Girl, listen, y'all. She asked, why haven't a group of white men gathered themselves and marched their ass down to the courthouse to make sure they have that you have freedom? I find it ironic because that's the same question you can ask Nakers. Why on earth, the first time they went to Supreme Court, they was making sure they didn't have to be stuck with you, right? You got all these fucking requirements. And I don't know what type of substances she's on in this goddamn video, but I'm sorry. She would have to pee in a cup so I could test that goddamn shit. You're not going to tell me she's doing this shit sober. Melanated. Really? I know you ready to drag her ass. Let's her go Capricorn. spooky looking ass. Oh, spooky looking ass. <laughs> scared the shit out of me and the dog he barking i don't know if you hear him but damn like what the fuck is it coke i at this point i'm convinced it's coke she looks like you know she's in a shelter or maybe that's a halfway house or something she on two too she 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 smoked some too cheap before she made that uh this, this video right here child we over here looking like barbies because our brads are taking care of us and your ass up there looking like a toy soldier oh that's the, the part that's the part right there saying if uh white men provide and protect why are black women still at the bottom ma'am i think if you come down and be sober just for 10 minutes i could tell you the reason that that hasn't happened because guess what you're not white men's responsibility you are black men's responsibility. And they said they're not going to do it. They said, fuck you, keep it moving. Hmm. That's why. They're not going to get together as a group of men and protect a whole nother group of women. That's the responsibility of another race of men. They'll take care of you if you got you one personally. Ask me how I know, right? And but nobody's going to march their ass out here trying to take care of people that, you know, don't give a fuck. It's like this. You the ones that's doing that. You're marching for people that don't give a fuck about you. And it looks real, real dumb. OK, it's on you, Aaliyah. No, I find it very ironic that they want to keep putting out there that white men only want you for sex. They only care about your bodies and all this other type of shit. They only want to fuck you. But it's the black men who have been screaming from the tops of their lungs about fuck y'all bitches ain't shit. But they online telling men to pump and dump you. They mm -hmm. are selling courses on how to do this shit. They telling men how easy it is to fuck you. I heard the manosphere say a long time ago that all black women wanted some dick and attention. And I swear to God, I didn't want to believe it. But they have proven that shit to be true. That that's all black women care about is dick and attention. And it's women like that who run around talking about all white men want to do is fuck you. What you think these black men are trying to do? They trying to fuck. They trying to smash. They trying to beat them guts up and every damn thing else. Disrespectful that they can think the call that shit they don't tell people how much they want to make love to you in fact they tell everybody your pussy stink so what the fuck are you talking about so that's why i said but you want to run around telling everybody that white men only want to fuck as if your men don't and they've been putting that shit out there to the world ever, ever as long as i can remember even through the music 
long before the internet became a popular thing. They were saying the shit back then. They, they something else. They went to the Supreme Court to fight for the right to call you every goddamn name under the sun. That's a, that's another thing they fought for. So they ain't never fought for you or to be with you. They fought for the right to call you all kind of dirty, nasty sluts and every damn thing else. That's a fact. And two pump live crew, and anybody? <laughs> two live crew, anyone? The motherfuckers ain't been down to the courthouse to get shit changed. Listen, they are hypocritical. That group of people, i.e. Blackistan, are very hypocritical. One minute they don't like group think, the next minute they thinking as a group. One day we not a monolith, the next day people being prejudiced towards you. One day you don't like men that's trying to fuck because they're white. But when you get to the club, everybody that's trying to fuck you, it's okay because they're a black ass man. Miss me with the bullshit. Miss me. It's on you, L. Up, oh, she done hit the button. She done fell off. I know this can't be Keisha in the back. Go ahead, another one. She won't go to her syphilis so bad. <laughs> That's what she won't. I don't know what that thing is. Um, looks like she's not wearing clothes. I got nothing else for you. I'm still mad about the other one. Girl, I cannot. I Hold have a question. Go ahead. Why, why entertain the the men who are lowest on the totem pole? Who don't care about you? Never cared about you. What what what's what's the deal with that? They're never going to come to your rescue. They no don't want you. They you know. So what what is tying you to them? There because was a BWE creator that said that black women like torture. They like to be mistreated. That they got a kink out of it. And I'm telling you. Is it true? Because look at what we're doing. Is it true? Pro-white male, are you dusty? Do you hear me? Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to get in contact with you. Wow. Um, I mean, hell no, I'm not dusty. I'm very well swept and mopped. All right. Well, that's awesome. Have you been listening and what you got to add to this situation, ma'am? Well, um, I don't know if anybody been hearing me, but I've been talking and I'm like, listen, these men have no power. They have no resources. They can't even beat up guys that they claim are biologically weaker than them. We need to go for the white guys. <laughs> You need to go ahead and make sure that you get to safety and put yourself first. And Absolutely. You, I want free free Derek Chauvin. Girl, get your ass from up here. Thank you for coming. I love you, Derek Chauvin. <laughs> Bye. Oh, DT, can I, I just thought about something. This little lady here with no clothes on, on the screen. Um, she's talking about somebody going down to the courthouse for her. Is that, is that what she's she talking about? She was basically she? saying, you know, don't get with white guys because all they want you for is sex. And if they really cared about you, they would put you on the top instead of white women. But she got life fucked up. She got life fucked up. Men are going to put their group of women on top. Every one of them except black males. They're going to put their women first. But she's not familiar with that. She's familiar with getting all her needs met from other groups of men while she's giving pussy to her group of men. So to continue to go ahead and fuck them, she putting white men on the spot saying, look, you need to do more. Bitch, the reason you on the internet because the white man is amazing. Pull up, bitch. The reason you know what TikTok is is because you have access to Wi-Fi in your house because of the white man. I'm sure that whatever you using in those dusty ass dreads was driven by a truck that had a white man name on it. Bitch, pull up. Yeah, and I'd like to add, you know, as far as her little courthouse comment, uh, the only maker I've seen pull up to the courthouse for the last four or five years has been that ugly motherfucker, Ben Crump, and he's become a millionaire many times over settling all those black people, police brutality, civil suits. He hasn't taken one fucking case to trial. Uh, you know they get a, a third of everything they get. So when Breonna Taylor's mom got 12 million, he got a third of 12 million, folks. So what maker was going down there hustling for black people uh, for love for dignity, for justice, for the last several seven years of Black Lives Matter, none. 
In fact, it was a black woman in LA who, uh, with a West African name who they were calling the Black Lives Matter lawyer who was out there representing all those kids that were getting locked up protesting and trespassing and all that during all the rallies and riots. It was a black woman handling those cases and she was making hardly no money. So what the fuck is this bitch talking about? Not that this bitch is smart or that she matters, but if we're gonna go there, if we're gonna talk about facts, Ben Crump became a multi, multi-millionaire. Black women went and represented those black kids who were getting locked up at the protests. White lawyers from the National Lawyers Guild were the ones going and representing those black kids that were getting locked up in Baltimore, California, and all those cities when the Black Lives Matter protesters happened. So if we're going to talk about facts, which is what we do on this channel, because we're not fucking emotional and stupid, even though we do have passion and we do have concern, if we're going to talk about facts, bitch, your fucking grapes caked off your people's death off of police brutality. They didn't fucking work for free, bitch. Excuse me. I'm no, gonna, you I'm good. Gonna... The fairy tale said, I bet Ben Crump is a swirler. I don't know what he do, but I'm going to tell you something. He sound like he fresh off the plantation. That boy wasn't bogged to nobody. Exactly. He can't try no fucking case the way he speaks. Get the fuck out of here. I'm way younger than him, and I've tried more cases than him. That guy sounds like a fucking idiot. He was just walking and trying to be black like everybody else, and then the white man came up and asked him, where he was going, ass nigga. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry. Somebody in the comments said that caller's mad. I'm not mad, but I am kind of passionate tonight because it's almost like the pile on on divesters is out of hand. But when, but when we actually, when DZ brings up news clips and videos and historical content twice a week, that doesn't matter. They're just angry, angry divesters, angry swirlers. They're not, even though these are the channels that are actually presenting data, statistics, new anecdotal evidence, and callers calling in, giving their own stories. But that doesn't count. We're just angry divesters. That's the part mm -hmm. I don't appreciate. I'm not mad. I'm sorry. And they wonder why we keep having to drag these hoes over and over again. Because it's like, we don't, we be minding our own business. Discuss, we have moved on discussing other shit. DZ have a bunch of news stories. We be on to some other shit. And then, bam, they just pop up talking about us. People we don't even know, don't watch their shit, never even heard of. Well, not all of us anyway. But people just w pop up with divestors in their title and they popping off about shit. And it's like, and who the fuck are you? And why the fuck are you talking about us? And then that's why they they come on here. We have to drag these bitches, and now all of a sudden, oh, we mean girls, we bullies, we this and that. And it's like, bitch, you started it. Nobody was thinking about you, darling. I'm getting ready to show y'all something else, right? I had to pull that monster down. A couple of people asked to pull that monster down, y'all. From a nursing perspective, that girl was all the way live. She had a couple of things in her urine that shouldn't have been there. Sorry, not to fuck. Sorry. I think people should be able to do whatever they want to do within reason, but she overdid it, okay? Do y'all remember the bodega store work, store worker that stabbed old boy? Killed oh, yeah, him. Jose Alba. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this is his family and um, coming out to court, the dude who got killed. Hold on. Let me make sure I get y'all the right one because I got 50 billion tabs open. Okay. So this is old boy's uh, family coming out the store y'all remember he went behind the counter to try to attack this man okay he got a baby mama now i don't know if it was the one that was in the store with him or this is a different one coming out of the courthouse this is why you can't be friends with mammies they saw that this man came and attacked that store owner okay they're pretending as if he was just trying he was just hungry he just needed something to eat and the bodega worker was fucking him up Watch this shit, y'all. Jesus Christ. I'm done. That's his baby mama, y'all. That's his daughter's mother. Like I said, I don't know if she was the chick in the store with him the day he got his ass murked. <laughs> But she just said he was a loving man and a good father. You can't make this shit up. Y'all, if you're friends with mammies, when it comes to a Dusty, you will get thrown up under the goddamn bridge, period. Because nothing is going to make her turn against him. Nothing. Not even presenting him with facts, a video, none of that shit. She said he's a good man. Let's go. He's a good man. 
And he is soon to leave. I'm his daughter's mother. Yeah, his mother. Yeah. What can you say about Mr. Simon? He was a good father. He was a good man. Was he attacking the employee that time? I don't know anything about that. But I believe due to his character, I don't think, I don't believe so. But what about the video? Did you see the video? No, I couldn't watch that. You couldn't watch that? No, I couldn't. But I believe it was... It may have known his dad, but it wasn't what it looked like. Trust me. Here we go. Here we go. These are the women they can't stand the most. Y'all just look at the aesthetics. Let's keep it real tonight. Let's keep it real on smoke night. The woman that's in front of you, I don't know if she's his mother, his aunt, or whatever, but he's an elder. She's an elder in that family. That aesthetic, black men hate. It actually infuriates them when someone that looks like her or the baby mama, let's just keep that real, points out colorism, points out slavery, points out all the shit, all the reason they shouldn't be leaving them alone. But it's always us right there, right there, taking up for some bullshit. Listen to her and I'm going to stop this damn video. I mean, if you didn't understand black is standing ease, the, the 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 big thick tongue talk, right? She said he didn't have to stab my son that many times. He didn't have to stab him that many times. Okay, the kind of way like they say son, you know, everything starts with a th in Blackistan for most of these women. He didn't have to stab, stab him that many times. This is us, y'all. And let me tell you something else. Everybody sees this shit. Everybody. L, you back. I'm back. Okay, so this video makes me so damn angry because that goes back to when, um, to what we have said, all of us had uh, said in uh, previous lives that they want them to be able to do anything and not have any consequences and not be held accountable for anything. She's sitting up here talking about, oh, um, he didn't have to stab my son like that. Like, girl. Why the fuck do you think your son could go around and wreak havoc and then think ain't nobody going to do nothing to him? He was they are crazy. Man. They are nuts. They're nuts. And it's always ones that they can't stand. Don't let these people know your business. Don't let them in your goddamn house. I wouldn't deal with them unless I was being paid to at a job or something like that. These hoes is crazy. Y'all remember that video? That dusty motherfucker came behind that counter and was trying to beat the shit out of that 61-year-old worker. And he got his issue. He got a couple of holes put in his ass. And now the family, all of a sudden, he a good man. If he was so good, why the fuck he couldn't afford no goddamn chips? Because that's what it was about. Potato chips and the EBT card not working. Why y'all ain't buy his dusty ass no fucking chips? This is the shit I'm talking about. Go ahead, Ebony. If you still here, there's no hope. Exactly. I'm sorry. There's no. There's. There's no. There's no reasoning with women who feel that this is their only option. I don't want this to be their only option, but it's like they really, like I said, it seems like they'd rather die than leave. So, what do you do with that? Um, he, you do what Jose did and stab his ass up, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> Jose wasn't going. And um, GoFundMe took his shit down. I hate that that happened. But you can't even defend yourself when it comes to one of these dusty ass, coddled ass, protected class ass And they niggas. are coddled. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. They are coddled. And this is more dangerous for black women than they really realize. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you why it's dangerous for you ladies. Because basically, they're not going to say in the media who they are. The police are going to not say in the media who they are. And they're going to mess you up. They know that shit. They do. They <laughs> exactly. Just, and they the thing is, is there's, there's so... It's, I don't even think it's denial. You see... They, they keep know denying the truth. shit to me. Well, that's their favorite words. Well and not all. They know the truth. They want not all, but not all does not want them. 
That's Sorry, not, she's not the only one who feels that way. I've seen, see, this is why I can't fuck with a mammy bitch. We are not the same because I have seen videos where they have went in on that girl, calling her a narcissistic, Jezebels, and all kind of shit. Like she went out there, she, it's her fault that he got stabbed and she started all this. And I'm thinking to myself, so he bears no responsibility for his behavior and nothing that he did that resulted in his death it's just all her fault right so they blamed it all on her see this black women don't let shit like that be a lesson to them no matter the situation everything is gonna always be all your fault and not only are your men gonna say it the other women in the community gonna also throw you under the bus to get kudos from the men and say well that's all her fault because she she didn't even have to do that and I'm thinking to myself yeah but he's the man of the situation and if he was any kind of man instead of trying to blame all of that on her when she came and got him and told him what the problem was what a man would have done is step in de-escalate the situation try to find out what's going on and pay for the chips if necessary but you what you don't do is run into a store, go behind the counter, assault somebody, and then not expect to get what you're looking for. It don't work that way, but they blame their whole entire encounter on the girl. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that she's blameless in this, but you can't tell me that he don't bear no responsibility for him taking his ass in that store assaulting that man. He Facts. did that. Facts. Okay, um, Brooke Bond, your device is not connected, so I can't bring you up. Sorry, not sorry. Are you dusty? Sorry, not sorry. We're here. We're waiting to see if you're dusty. Uh, yeah, sorry. No, I'm not dusty. What you got? So this basically brings up... <laughs> it's just the whole community is like this. Even... Me and my situation, my mom, we've lived in more of like a suburban area. Why she bring her dusty ass man from the past back into our lives? Like, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 21. Okay, you sound a little young. I was hoping I wasn't talking to a baby. That's wonderful. You said your mom is doing that? Yes. So, this man, he beat her ass in the past. He touched me and my twin sister. All this shit's mm. happening. And why um, she brings him back up. And this is after I had the realization where um, me and my sister, we grew up in foster care. And I was like, and we have a younger sister by that same dusty ass man. And like um, in my teenage years, I was starting to connect the dots together. Where it's like, why the fuck? is my little sister born around the time we were in foster care. So you're telling me that while we were taken, you still went over there and fucked that dusty ass man and then brought him back into our lives years later, like five years later, because um, you didn't want to be a single mother anymore. Like, uh, it's just, and then- How old is your sister? Um, she's my twin. Um, well, oh, okay, my... you did say that. My bad. Uh -huh, as so soon she's... as you can, though, you know your mom is not going to change unless she wants to change. Mm -hmm. Soon as it's feasible, as soon as it's feasible, put some distance between you and you and her. Yes, mm -hmm. I said it. I know that's your mother, mm -hmm. but darling, you know good and hell well. A lot of these women that are black male identify are dangerous as fuck to other yes. women, and that includes their daughters. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, ma'am. So um, when I turned 18, I basically got kicked out because, um, yeah, she brought him around. Well, actually, I was 19 when she, um, when she was telling me that she was going to fly him all the way from Illinois to Texas, mind you. She flies this man across the country to come live with her, which basically kicked me and my sister out. My sister, she was going to... Um, she was um she was going to like a university so that was good but me i um took a gap year and was working and then i started um going to school online so i had you to still live with your mother no i don't good good uh, 
Yeah, so I moved in um, with this white guy that I was dating, and he wasn't really that good for me either, but it was like anything to move away from her. Now I'm living with um, my roommate, and I'm trying to stay away from that side of my family. Please do. But I really want to, like, keep just, like, a hand open for my younger sister because Mm -hmm. I'm just, like, it just pains me that she brought this ashy ass man back into her life. Well, I'm with- sorry to hear that. You know, your, so- your story is so familiar mm-hmm. with so many women of all ages. Okay. Yeah. These um, Blackistan has been this way since day one. This isn't new, y'all. This mm-hmm. is not new. It's just not we have all. like, I would have never met you if it wasn't for the internet and YouTube. You would have been going through that and I wouldn't have known you existed. That's how it was back in the 40s and 50s where Mm -hmm. there was no networking except for with people that lived close to you or in that vicinity. Mm -hmm. Right. So I don't want you to feel singled out. Right. Mm -hmm. Because you come from a family that's very familiar in Blackistan. Yeah. And and that's why I'm so grateful for channels like this, because um, it puts a spotlight to where this isn't a one off thing. They like mm. to preach not all, not all, but it's it's too it's too many. It's too many. And you have to have the mentality of it's every fucking body because I rather think that it's every fucking body than to get catch uh get caught lacking anymore. Like that's what's up. And that's a smart thing to do. And it's a shame that you're only 21 years old and this bitch is 50 years old that don't know that that's what they need to do. I don't give a damn how old you are. It's not too late to change and get the fuck away from Blackistan, okay? Mm -hmm. My aunt just started dating her um, guy. Uh, It had to be about four months ago at this point. And she dated her first non-Black man on her mm-hmm. 63rd birthday. So it's never too late. Don't let mm-hmm. these motherfuckers tell you you hit the wall, that there's nowhere else to go, that you shouldn't be moving out of your community and all that shit. For whatever reason you divested, just mm-hmm. divest. I appreciate you coming up. Uh, me, thank you so much. You're welcome, boo. Let me um, cuss real quick. Mm-hmm. Loud, angry woman. The link is in the chat. The link is in the chat. Two dollar whore. The link is in the chat, right? If you're going to come up here with your tits out, you might as well go ahead and say it with your chest, right? Don't give your last $2 to me. Give it to your dusty. That's what you do. That's what you hoes do anyway, right? You have nothing else to do on this Friday night. You just like them dusty motherfuckers that be coming up here, hollering and carrying on, acting like pure animals. You're sad, sad. I would love to see. And when you come up, right, make sure you use loud, angry woman so I can know exactly who the fuck you are so we can get the shit smoking because it is smoke night. But I appreciate you anyway. Two dollar ass woman. Okay. It's on you, Ebony. Jesus. Okay. So she's saying that, you know, you're making money off of this. You know what? Here's the thing. I, I have never thought that it would take so much energy and 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 so much time to try to get black women away from danger. Mm-hmm. They are in danger every damn day when they walk to work or drive to work or it, when, even when they go home. Ladies, what is it going to take? More deaths. I mean, yeah, but, but how many dead bodies is it going to take then, DZ? Look. All we got to do is watch. They thick-headed as fuck, okay? They're going to stay. The majority of black women will never divest. That's just the fact of the matter. They never will divest. But the good thing is you got out. That's putting yourself first. Everybody that have divested, congratulations. You can sit back with extra butter on your popcorn and watch these bitches drop, especially the ones that already know. Come on now. That's some bullshit. But their yeah, lives you- can be so much better, DZ. They don't want their lives can be so much better. And the thing is, it's not just their lives. We we're women. We -hmm. have children. Okay. And basically we keep raising crops upon crops of people who are ready to die for people who do not care. I see it. I see it. 
that is what it is. Were you going to say something, Aaliyah? Yeah, because, I mean, it's so much money to be made in this. I mean, YouTube is just paying so much money. I mean, even your Patreon, you want all this money, but you charging 5 and $10. And you got motherfuckers out here asking for donations left and right. Every time you turn around, asking for hundreds and thousands of dollars. Y'all done gave one motherfucker on here a million dollars. I mean, let's be motherfucking real. Y'all get these motherfuckers all this money. Y'all pay for all these movies. And y'all talk about somebody over here getting a whole hell of a lot of money because YouTube sure is cutting them checks, ain't they? YouTube ain't paying nobody shit. And with the language that's used on this channel, it's hard to monetize a lot of this shit. YouTube is not going to monetize this shit. So I don't know why in the hell they keep putting out that it's all this money to be made. No, it's not because like I said, y'all want to don't make all the donations to the niggas because that's what mammies do. Y'all get the niggas all y'all motherfucking money. But a woman get up and she start talking some real shit. You want to be stingy with her and donate a dollar and 99 cents. But shit, she probably would have gave her two, three hundred dollars if she had a penis. That's how you bitches. That's how y'all roll. So if anybody getting paid off here, it's the motherfucking pro-black charlatans y'all follow and listening to. That's, That's who's fact. getting paid. That's who y'all breaking the fuck off. That's why they can ask for a million dollars, hundred thousand dollars, two hundred fifty thousand dollars, eighty thousand dollars. They asking y'all for. It. That's where the fuck all y'all reparations going to that motherfucker and a whole <laughs> bunch of other motherfuckers on here. Now can we keep that shit real? Play with it if y'all want to. Ain't no, whole, ain't nobody getting a whole lot of money over here. Preach, Aaliyah. Preach. Who is Sarah Mitchell all up in DC's pockets doing the math? Who asked for all that? The Ooh, same Sarah, Debbie, they you, just came you, back on a foo-foo page. Yeah, this is the same bitch. Listen, I'll talk to you real quick, Sarah. And thank you, soul girl. Baby, unfortunately, I don't eat box. Right? I know it's very difficult to know that somebody on, th on this planet exists. And you are so attracted to me and just my voice alone. I get it. It's tough on you. My voice is one of the things that attracted my husband. So I know what you're going through, boo. You want some. And it's not going to happen. Right? Keep looking, though. Keep looking. I'm sure somebody sounds like me in another area. I'm just not available. I'm not available, boo. Okay. $2,500. That's a lot of money. To Blackistan. <laughs> do you do you know how much a one bedroom apartment in the A going for? And they talking about if you don't get the fuck out of here. Yeah, and then on top of that, how the fuck she know? How the fuck she know it's twenty five hundred? You don't fucking know. Y'all, this is what happens with mammies. I'm telling you, they are upset. They over there with head wraps on, handkerchief head ass bitches. Don't don't do that. Everybody's not bad. How can you just judge somebody by their race? Bitch, you do the same thing. In your neighborhood, when you leave your house, I'm sure you're not ducking, looking for some crazy ass white dude to come rob you. You trying to make sure Pookie ain't around that fucking ATM, ain't you, bitch? You judge by race as well. It is what it is. That's the first thing you see. That I don't see color bullshit. Fuck out of here. This I motherfucker know. broke out a calculator, didn't he? And then... <laughs> They wanted to make sure, guy. I mean, shit. I guess they know how what tier all five hundred and nine of your members joined on. So they just gonna tell you how much you got. And like right. Patreon, don't take they could. They so okay. damn stupid. Um, but black supremacy, <laughs> girl. Brooke Benz, are you dusty? Brooke, you're on. Are you? Oh, ashy? sorry. No, I'm not. Okay, what you got, boo? Um, I just want to say, like, I've been divested for a while or semi-divested. and well, semi-divested? Well, I was divested politically. And so, like, when you divest politically from Blackistan, you become outcast because there's a parallel between, mm -hmm. like, I'm, in, I'm independent. I'm not a part of a political party. Okay. And I saw the BS with, you know, Black Lives Matter. And I saw it way before, like, going back to Trayvon and Mike Brown and how they're putting these boys on a pedestal like they're victims. But once you start digging into the background, then, you know, the math wasn't mathing. And I would say stuff like on social media, like Facebook, like, you know, black people only care when it's a cop and people would get mad at me. But I'm like, but the numbers support it because they only run out there in March if it's cop. 
but if it's regular okay. crime, as then... far as your divestment goes, right? Uh-huh. You said that you are or were semi divested. I was semi, but now okay. I'm all the way. So I stumbled okay, on this um, this channel. I thought it was kind of rough because my family, <laughs> my family's African. I didn't appreciate the African comments, but Listen. I was going to say, um, I was going to say it's important for us to have these platforms because you know i do follow divested pages on twitter and what really pushed me over the edge was like just seeing the way that young black girls are being bullied by black boys and the way that and that's everywhere and yeah everywhere yeah that includes africa that includes jamaica shit russia if it's an area with a bunch of niggas in russia they are dusty just a little snow and it's hard because it's hard to convince black women that black men are fighting for a seat at the table they're not trying to tear down a system they want to be a part of that system. But I feel like we have to reach the younger girls and media is, is going to be the way to do it because victimhood is their currency. You know, mm-hmm. but if we are out there showing people like, hey, you know, black men are not victims. Look what they're doing, you know, and make people be honest about crime, then people will reconsider. And right now, I think it's a great time because the crime rate in this country is out of control. It's it crazy to the point where the media can't even cover it up anymore. Ladies, I want to show y'all something else. Okay, check it out. Y'all know we had the Roe v. Wade and all this shit there, and, and, and Black people have had nothing but conversation and arguments on online and all this shit here. Well, I want to show you mammies and divesters, for that matter, if you're newly divested, what it looks like when somebody it, that's a man in a different group, how they get active instead of arguing with women. Right. So y'all know Roe v. Wade has made it where the states can make their own choices as to where you can or if you can get a a termination of your pregnancy. Let me scroll up a little bit because of that rule. um, You had a non-black man and this is what he did. Okay, it says more men seeking vasectomies after Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. That's called getting active. Yes. That's called getting active. Other groups of men are doing something. Well, since they can't control the law, let's try this. We're going to make sure our household is motherfucking great. Took it upon himself to say, hey, I know you don't want any children, and I don't want an invasive procedure on you, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to chop up my vast deference, and we're going to fuck, baby. That part. But anyway, this is completely the, uh, the opposite of what black males do. Right. Listen. Listen. Oh, yeah. And trolls, that's from my hometown, according to y'all. Tampa, Florida. Right. More and more men get to seek to get that. Div- I'm um, sorry. I was going to say more and more men get divested. Vasectomies as states move to ban and restrict abortions following the Supreme Court ruling. I know you mammies may be a little confused right now. You're not used to seeing a problem present itself. Right. And then men moving. The only time you see that is outside of your community. So I wanted to introduce you to Mr. Figueroa. Mr. Figueroa is only 27 years old and got active. Y'all got your 50 year old boomer and um, Gen X Dusties, not silent generation two, doing nothing but coming on here, talking about what black women should have did and what they should do going forward and where they fucked up in the past. Mr. Figueroa is 27 years old and he went on ahead and made sure that his household wasn't affected by what's going on in the land. Let's go down a little bit more. Okay. This is also getting active. The doctor says that 50% of his brand new calls, it's their women calling to do it and set the arrangements. Now, if you tried this shit in the black community, not only would you get chopped down by black men, you'll get chopped down by other black women. Okay, and they would call the guy that's involved, letting you make his appointment a simp. A simp. You wonder why you on the bottom. This is why other groups move differently. They move differently. Right. Nobody said other groups were perfect, but God damn it. They do a lot more than we do when problems show up. There are no black men lining up trying to get their vast deference. Okay, vasectomy. They're not trying to do that. They're not going to do it. They would rather see this place overrun with children and y'all suffering and hungry. That's what they'd rather see. Okay, like I said, Thomas is only 27 years old. 
Okay. I just wanted to put this out here and just share this because, you know, it's more like this. Y'all not used to seeing men worth a fuck. And it's embarrassing that this dude is not even 30 years old yet and already getting active. Aaliyah. I mean, what you're talking about, come on now, you deprive them of being able to shoot people's club up anytime they feel like it and, you know, make all of these babies they neither want nor are equipped to raise and, you know, actually take care of. I mean, that's just completely ludicrous. How dare you suggest that they even do something like that, get themselves fixed. No, that's your responsibility as the woman. You're supposed to protect yourself. It's not up to him. I mean, because remember, they don't control their own bodies whatsoever. You don't make them wear condoms. You don't make them pull out. You don't do any of that. So it's all on you. It's, it's, it's not him. So that's why I say, no, what you're saying, that that would never happen in Blackistan. Yo, I saw where this um, article was shared. Someone shared it with me in my inbox. So I went and did some investigating. And you got women in the comment section because I brought up, okay, up under my new Deborah account. <laughs> yeah, y'all can pretend like that's an Afro-Latino if you want to. That's what you can pretend like. But I know good and goddamn well this is a non-Black person doing this shit, right? The bitches said, well, there's no way they didn't share a picture of them. They didn't. You, you tripping, basically. You mean to tell me that you think these black men that don't get a yearly physical, don't have health insurance, don't know that they got cancer until it's stage fucking four, that they're lining up to give vasectomies, miss me with the delusion and bullshit. Do you they understand me? Say what? They don't get tested either. No, they don't do any of that shit. Half of them scared of needles. Gonna to be honest with you, in my experience. So. I mean, you're talking about a vasectomy. I mean, what would we do without the futures and Nick Cannons and of the world? I mean, of the world. They, they, they have to repopulate the world. That's what they were put here to do. So they're just making as many babies willy and nilly as, as they can. I mean, and what they don't seem to understand is, is that there is nothing tied to their sperm. No legacy, no generational wealth, no nothing. That's why they give it up so freely. Other men that actually care about legacy and where their generational wealth goes, they are more responsible with what they do with their sperm. They don't just randomly impregnate anybody who says she wants a baby for him. I mean, here, but black men yes. wouldn't know nothing about that. They they yes. would know nothing about that though. Well, Yo. because the black community does not basically make them responsible for where their fucking spawn goes. I mean, they just spread it all over the community and they don't care. They don't because care. Because nothing you gain nothing from it. it <laughs> See my sisters, my sisters, my sisters, my sisters, my sisters, my sisters. <laughs> See, you have it all wrong. See, the most high Yah says to be fruitful and multiply. Okay, you're killing, me. Oh, you're okay. killing me now. Okay. You're killing me now. Okay. <laughs> you're killing me now. <laughs> we are God's chosen people, my sisters. We are to be fruitful and multiply and live in accordance with the most high Yah. Shalom. Really? Yo, why would the, the most this, high help you get some money? <laughs> I showed this article to my husband, y'all. The first thing he said was, yeah, I can see where he's coming from. And I'm like, explain, boo. He said, well, since the woman that he loves lost her rights, he put his rights on the line and go ahead and do things for her instead of baby. So I removed my sweatpants and was like, come here. Okay. Because <laughs> he knew what the fuck he was talking about. Y'all don't have to put up with that nonsense in the black community. You don't have to. It's people out here that understand your plight. They just not as vocal as we are because sometimes they got more to lose than what you got. If you find somebody that understands, I don't care if it's just a platonic friend or whatever, cherish that motherfucker. It just is what it is. In the black community, everything is going to be your fault. Right. You just heard her say the most high y'all. We the most religious people on the goddamn planet. Black people, 
the most prayingest motherfuckers, I find it ironic, perform the worst. It is what it is. I ain't mean to cut y'all off. I just had to put that in there. And I think it's a level of misery loving company, especially if they have like one child already that they got to pay child support to. So now they feel like they have to drag every other bitch into their mess and create more babies because they're not going to pay the child support anyway. They're like, let me fuck up your legacy and your career since Mm -hmm. I already fucked mine up. Yep. Kella Daly, are you dusting? Nope. What's up? Um, so the thing about vasectomies reminded me of sexual responsibility, which isn't really a thing in this community right now. And like you see the effects of it, like in my university, they have these things called seminars where they talk about the problems of the future. And one of the seminars, the sign says talking, dealing with the antibiotic apocalypse, how we'll deal, how we'll deal with basically bacteria in the future as biotics become less effective. Now, the reason they're using the term antibiotic apocalypse is because in 15 years, unless something like really dramatic happens, we're not actually going to be able to treat gonorrhea the way we're treating gonorrhea right Mm -hmm. now. We are not going to be able to treat syphilis the way we treat syphilis right now. And frankly, um, if you listen closely, like if you're in a public health class, they'll say syphilis is rare unless you're in a high risk urban environment. So it's the niggas. It's the niggas that have syphilis. Actually, gonorrhea, I'm sorry. I told and y'all. Syphilis. They're in their final drug classes, actually. They're going to be antibiotic resistant and they're not going to have anything to treat them at all in a minute. It's wild because you see the terms antibiotic apocalypse with like um, the climate apocalypse, which seems wild, but like antibiotics have decreased so much suffering and people are fucking so much that they're not going to work so anymore. It's no, not they're not going to work. Them. And you know what's going to happen? What? Let me tell you what the apocalypse is going to be. They, the, the, the pharmaceutical companies are not investing in that kind of stuff. They want something that people have to keep coming back. They, you know, they're interested in oncology drugs. Yeah. Okay? No, no. It's slut shaming when you say stop fucking so much, but they don't think about the reason why you're saying that. But okay. The thing with syphilis is that it's a bacterial disease. Like syphilis can be prevented by condoms. Gonorrhea can be prevented by condoms. By we never large, saw it in medical school. We never oh, saw God. it in residency. We never saw uh, congenital syphilis at all. And now in thing. Colorado and in, in, in Colorado and California, it's a common thing. It's a and common it's thing. usually a combination. They usually have HIV and syphilis together, or either they may have HIV and syphilis, and it's not uncommon to have gonorrhea and or chlamydia on top of that. I'm telling you, they are walking STDs. That's yeah. all they are. And this is what they- comes from not holding young Black men accountable for any damn thing they do, not holding them accountable for their sexuality. At all. Yeah. They and already got an acronym, acronym there. It's been there for years. Stuff that black people, it's a couple of ladies up here from Atlanta and, and work in Atlanta. So you know what I'm getting ready to say is true. And I know it's out there out west with you too, um, Ebony. MDROs have been around for a long time. That's multi drug resistant organisms. They have literally mm-hmm. just stopped calling it gonorrhea, stop calling it syphilis, stop call- because it's not responding to any drugs. Ladies, I'm telling you, I told y'all about the chick with the syphilis that we had to put a Chuck's pad. I'm sorry, gonorrhea. We had to put a Chuck's pad up under her. She was leaking that much. This is the shit these niggas is carrying around, right? He out here doing God knows what. He done pulled his penis out of another man's anus. And here you go talking about you finna suck your man dick. Well, you go ahead, sister. That's why your gums black. That's why your motherfucking breath is putrid as fuck. Y'all, multi-drug resistant organisms have been around for a minute. They're about to get so much worse, though. Yeah, like, the they were thinking they- about, about how antibiotics are not going to work in 15 years, like, when you were in school. And, like, syphilis is an old-timey disease. Like, you'll hear about this, like, European king in the 1700s had syphilis. Or, like, the baseball players in the 1920s all had syphilis. 
it's like goddamn measles. Like we're not supposed to have it, but people had to be stupid, and now it came back. But I'm gonna tell you to it too. Go ahead. I'm gonna add to it, and then you go, Aaliyah. Um, a lot of times when they go take their ass to the clinic and they get diagnosed and they're given antibiotics, you have to finish those antibiotics. Yeah, you can't. If you don't finish them all, the organism that's inside of you it mutates learning how to fight off the drug that you're taking because you got 17 in there and you start feeling better after you take five of them that does not mean stop you supposed to take it until all of those pills are gone but the this letting the drug i'm sorry the organisms mutate and it's learning how to fight off your antibiotics that your doctor gave you but go ahead it's all or none when you deal with antibiotics, look, don't take part of them. Take all of them. Take the entire regimen, okay? And let's just be honest. The African-American community has so much stuff flying around because we do not make our young men accountable for their sexual activity. They. I'm going to go ahead and throw they in there because I don't, I don't feel any <laughs> kinship or claim to the motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's what I was just about to say. That's why they are building up a resistance to the antibiotics when you don't, when they're not treated, the when it's not treated adequately to begin with. And then it just, and with something like syphilis, where the potential for reinfection is so high, the only way you can tell if it's a new infection is by the titer. Because most of the time, if the person has already had it, whether they were treated or not, they're still going to test positive for it for years, possibly for life. And so the only way to tell. Yeah. Let's be honest, Aaliyah. I'm sorry. Let's be be honest, okay, uh, about all of this. You look, okay, you you have a choice. Okay, you have a choice to look out for yourself or not. Okay. Not to, man. And this is why younger people aren't don't want to have kids either. Like my sister and I and like a lot of, of our friends, we don't want to have kids because we're just like, we see that everything is going to shit. And then the Supreme Court has the nerve to ban like abortions. I mean, you shouldn't be getting pregnant anyway, but it's like, but I wouldn't have kids in an environment like this at all. It's not even just the, the no the girls, shittiness. no boys, no nothing. No, I wouldn't have any. If, if no, it's 20 like... years ago, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, Y'all? I feel yeah, I feel like this is too crazy to. It's just I I can't like I don't even want to be here. Why would I bring like someone that <laughs> oh, I, I claim to love? You, you need to inbox me because of what you just said right there. I I want to talk to you about that later. Okay? okay. Basically, everyone needs to figure out how to think only for themselves and to have themselves be the most important person in your life because if you do that it's still possible to find personal prosperity in the middle of chaos but you kind of have to be ruthless yes absolutely don't let blackistan brings chaos that's all it brings tell you that you're being evil and all that extra shit i mean okay and you're gonna be breathing and you're gonna be taken care of they can call you what they want to. I, I don't even feel those names anymore. I mean, another thing that's really going to get us to is this whole hookup culture with these dating apps and the grinders and all of this random casual sex. Like they have really made that a thing, this hookup culture. And I'm glad that this actually this subject was actually brought up because um it's going around that somehow HIV is cured with antiretroviral therapy. It's not. And so let me be clear on that. It's not. There is no cure, but thanks to modern medicine, you can actually live with it instead of the way it used to be. So the only thing we can do is try to block replication or slow it down. And that's as good as it gets. But the good thing is you can try to block replication to stop it from killing off the CD4 cells and to decrease your viral load, which will mm-hmm. it's just how much virus is in your blood. And this is what determines how infectious you are. And the more infectious you are, the more easily it spread. And that's an indication, too, of how much you're still fucking. And I'm sure your doctor <laughs> won't tell you that, but your blood work tells it. Your blood work doesn't hide the truth. It tells everything. And so that's why when people say this, 
Just stop moving the way you're moving. This shit is eating this community up and black women are really, really suffering the worst. They yeah. have it the worst. They're getting eaten up with it. And it's not just black women because basically black women are making the choices to get uh, more than one STD at a time. It's the girls I'm worried about. Yeah, um, I have good news about the apps. Like by last count, like Tinder's user base was like 78% male. So it's like, I feel like Generation Z had less sex than millennials, if I remember correctly. But like the apps are slowly becoming more all males. And therefore the males are slowly and that's becoming the same more unhinged. Part because they are all males. But guess what? The black black women are the least likely to date out. And so we have a culture where well, it's been a part of the culture that these men are down low messing with other dudes and still coming back messing with black women because black women are so race loyal. Who do you that's why we're suffering because of this shit? It's tyranny. Not community. only they're race loyal, but they're ridiculous. I mean, they have no self-esteem. Let's just call I mean, it what it is. They know these dudes messing with other dudes. I mean, let's just be real, but they that, that's a conversation they ain't ready to have yet. And they trying to pretend like that's not true. That's not why all these black women are getting HIV. It absolutely is. It's always been that way. Your men <sighs> You can't tell these people shit. You got you you got somebody out there to just to that will disagree just for the sake of disagreeing. They don't even have nothing to back it up. They just say shit. Just for a second, disagreeing. You could say the sky is blue. They're gonna say, uh-uh, the sky is green. Uh-uh, it's red. Uh, just to just to have something to disagree with. And it's like, are you reading? Are you paying attention? Are you looking at the stats? Matter as a matter of fact, for the medical professionals, we see your fucking records and lab reports. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, we I have it too. all. We have it all <laughs> right there in a damn EMR. You're they not hiding from anyone. And when you, know you get one STD, you know you you more than likely in the black community, you have another one. Okay. You well, have check, a friend. Check this out. Check this out real quick, y'all. When um, Aaliyah was saying that they know that their men are pulling the dick out of another man's ass for they come home or whatever. Instead of admitting that, what they've done now, this is new because mammies be creative as fuck when they're trying to protect the black man. They'll say, okay, okay, let's just say that my man is bisexual. Let's just say that. Well, that makes you biphobic if you don't agree with what I'm doing. And you should do it too. How many of y'all have seen that shit? When you say, I don't want a guy that's bisexual, it's my sexual preference. They'll say, well, that something's wrong with you. Since it, it wasn't passing and it wasn't passing the sniff test that he wasn't actually out here doing his thing, right? So since that's been proven, well, something's wrong with you instead because you should want him anyway. Tell me I'm lying. I have <laughs> always told women in clinics, never, 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 never date a bisexual man. I am sorry, not sorry. Y'all, with all these babies out here, it's like this. These communities that y'all see that's already fucked up, these black women that you see in on everybody else's channel that they're, they're talking about and covering their deaths, it's going, to, it's going to get exponentially out of fucking control. You won't see it immediately, but over the course of a couple of years, because once this, the effect of what's happened, the new laws and shit has taken place, and you see it you know, right in front of you, I think, honestly, we're going to get down to every three hours if something is not done, if you don't divest, okay? Because there's going to be more of them. Therefore, it'll be more instances of these actual homicides. But I wanted y'all to check this out real quick, and we'll be back. Developing tonight, Chicago police are trying to track down the gunman who shot and killed a woman in the Roseland neighborhood. The victim is 42-year-old Akiva Imani Petway Moody. Loved ones say she is the mother of six children. CBS 2's Sabrina Franz has spoke with her grieving family. This family is in shock. They do not want their daughter, mother, granddaughter to become another statistic in a neighborhood where they say it is common to be shot just steps from your home. 
Now, she just said it's common to be shot in, in front of your home and just steps from your home. Did y'all hear that loud ass music in the background? That's the first thing I heard. I was looking behind old girl trying to see what the fuck's going on. This neighborhood and this woman has bought a house in this neighborhood and she's no longer there. Why? Because well, not all. You, you shouldn't move out of the community when you get a little bit of something because that's self-hate and all that shit here. Soon as she's done with this report, she's getting the fuck out of that community. Okay, loud ass music gets on my fucking nerves. If you like the song, you like it, you listen to it. Okay, we don't need to listen to it. That shit is disrespectful as hell for people that have to work or work at night or whatever. But let's keep going. They've had enough. And that's why they had the courage to speak with us. Donna Petway Johnson lost her daughter early Friday morning. Even though she had three children, she still graduated high school with honors. What? I was proud of my child. Akiva Amani Petway Moody was shot in the head, killed in a parked car. And it's a shame. It's a shame that we have to live like this. Before 1 a.m. on State and West 107th, a mother who had six kids and three grandchildren gone. You've heard three grandchildren. You've heard a great, great grandmother. And most of all, you heard her parents. Surveillance video captures police lights flashing red, blue. Akiva was in the front passenger seat with another passenger behind her. The driver had just gotten out. He ran back when he heard bullets. When they got her, she was slumped over, feet was up. Mom got the news by 2 a.m., later showing us photos of her daughter doing what she loved, to dance. Doing ballet and tap and jazz. She started when she was eight, was teaching by 14. She always talked about, Mom, I'm a dance, we dancing over here, and I'm teaching these girls how to dance. She loved teaching dance. Now for this family, the music stopped. I just asked, in my child's loving memory that she gets to do her last dance. Now, here comes evil. Here comes evil divested zealot. Listen, you don't have to let that happen to you. You can get the fuck out of these neighborhoods. How many more do we need to see? This woman has six kids and three grandkids. Loud music playing all around. The grass isn't kept. It's garbage in the back. And her, her mother just looks completely lost. And she's asking these people at the news station, how long are we going to have to put up with this? Y'all mammies, your, your, your questioning is going towards the wrong people. It ain't the news people down there fucking up your neighborhood. It's them people that was giving your daughter six babies who's fucking up your neighborhood. Okay. When the, what do you mean when this is going to stop? It's never going to stop as long as you keep having these motherfuckers. That dude that killed her, he was a baby before too. You know, the ones y'all want to protect. The, the the little boy that he, he his, his life matters and all that shit. Well, where the hell do you think these killers come from? They all were once children at one point. So you just, you're not making any sense. Okay? These are your terrorists. These are the people that's making your life unbearable. These are the people that's making you have to travel three, four, and five miles without a vehicle to get fresh food. Okay? This is y'all's people. Elle, it's on you. All right. Elle ain't here. Go ahead, another one. Yeah, hi. I mean, this is sad. Rest in peace to this woman. But, you know, someone in your comments, when you had the last clip about the uh, vasectomies, someone in your comments, Princess, somebody wrote, um, sex is biological warfare. I would agree. And I would say it's just warfare period. It's being used as a form of warfare against black women around the world. And this woman had three, she was only 42 and had six kids and was already a grandmother and had three kids before graduating high school. Mm -hmm. And, um, her great grandmother still alive. You notice how they named all the generations still alive. They didn't talk about any men. They didn't talk about a husband. They didn't talk about great grandfathers or fathers or any men in the family. And this is basically warfare. And um, it, it, so it's not just biological warfare where they're going to infect you with diseases and things of that nature, but they're also going to have you saddled with so many kids. If this was clearly a woman that was showing uh, talent in ballet at the age of eight and tap, she could have went places. But what do you do? You saddle her with three kids by high school graduation. You have no fathers around her. You have no men. They just listed five generations of women in her life and no men. 
42 with six kids is wild. She's literally, that means she was born in 1980. She's like not that old. What the fuck? So what I'm trying to say is um, she's one year away from being a millennial and she's already a grandmother. So what I'm yes. trying to say is this all ties in because millennial starts at like 81. She's one. She's not that old. This is wild. And they're doing this on purpose. It's biological warfare, I agree. And it's just general warfare. And DC, just sidebar, I'm, I before I joined your lives, I used to email you and I used to tell you, I used to say, hey, I'm a first generation American. When you ever have smoke night for the fucking foreigners and the fucking diaspora dusties, please let me fucking chime in because I can't stand those motherfuckers either. And I really want to roast those motherfuckers because they're pulling this shit against their women too. I'm not in their community, but I know good and goddamn well what the hell they do. And, you know, rest in peace, this woman. I'm so sorry. And I'm so glad you said that because I actually see that a lot too. Because like I said, in, in Atlanta, we have a huge refugee clinic here. And a lot of the women that I see coming into this country from different um, parts of Africa, um, some of them may speak English, some of them may not, but, you know, we have translators and stuff for that. But some of the horror stories that those women are coming in here with, I mean, you're right, it's, it, it's, it is warfare. And I, a few of them that I spoke with, those men are infecting them on purpose. Because one lady, she she was positive, but hers was a result of rape. So he knew it and he forced it on her anyway, because that was his way to hold on to her. So it was like, it's I'm like, how cruel do you have to be because you want to chain her to you by trying to literally make it to where she can't get anybody else. So you would force of something that she can't get rid of on her like how low down is that and a lot of them have those stories and I mean I could just shake my head and I'm like wow it's like why Aaliyah they're dumb but they're like they do learn a little bit of stuff and it's usually evil and wrong you know what I mean Duke okay Duke are you a Dusty just wanted to know because the uh, the verbiage that you're using right now is very, very interesting. Duke, the dusty, and correct me if I'm wrong, bastard. My goddamn link is down there as well. It happens to be smoke night with y'all pussy asses. But check it out. He says, hoeing is passed down, closed legs. Here's the deal. The only hoe around this bitch is your mama, okay? <laughs> Somebody should have told that bitch to close her goddamn legs. That's what should have happened. She should have swallowed your motherfucking ass. Okay? What do you mean hoeing is passed down? You came all the way over here and called a woman that's passed away a whore. Here's the deal. You don't, you, you don't want this type of smoke. I promise you don't. Like I said, my link is in the comments section. Tell your mama I got beef with her, Duke. I got beef with your mama because there's no way she should have changed position. As soon as your daddy started coming, she should have turned around and caught your ass with her throat. Fuck wrong with you. Hoeing is passed down. Yeah, I guess you know. I guess you know. Anyway, sorry, ladies. <laughs> I can't stand these niggas. You hear me? Kitty. Are you and dusty? Then, let's not forget, even when you do close your legs, they can't handle the rejection from it. So didn't Aaliyah not just tell us a story about how this man raped this woman and gave her HIV? Like, come on now. Um, Kitty, are you dusty? Kitty, are you dusty? Not dusty. No, hell no. Hell no, ma'am. Sorry. My fucking mic was muted. I was trying to see because it's connected to my TV, and I was like, I can't. I can try to do this at once. Mm. Well, what you got, boo? What's what's going on since you ain't dusty and so, stuff? <laughs> so I've been watching your videos for the past month and a half, and after this Roe versus Wade shit, I had I'm starting. I um started to realize a lot of stuff. Like a lot of this stuff is, I feel like, in um, the community, the community or whatever they call it. They, it's a lot of biological warfare going on and a lot of spiritual warfare because it feels like it's not even human at this point. Like, what 
what these people are doing, the mammies and the makers and stuff. Honey, and, and again, it's not going to change. This is what we. It deal ain't with. ever going to change. It's been like this for the past. I don't know since ever since millennium since ever. So it's never going to change. It's still going to happen. I'm. It's. I'm at the point where I'm like, I got to get the fuck away from black adjacent areas because. I've had too much shit going in the past several weeks that it made me feel like I am about to go fucking insane. And I'm going to, like, too much shit going on. Well, it's not going to stop. It's like this. You're going to have <laughs> to leave the fucking community. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. You got a small echo, but it's all good. I appreciate you coming up, Kitty. No problem. It's just like I had, so, like, the other night I came home, I'm, at the moment, I'm um, living on the couch. I'm living in my cousin's house on the couch. And I'm um, coming home, and there's a huge ass. Kitty. Yes, Stuff ma'am. like that. Don't put your business out here like that. Inbox me that type of shit. You feel me? Yes, ma'am. I, I don't want to say too much. I was just going to say just the, the gen- synopsis. Like, the police came here with guns, every, knocking on everybody's door, trying to bust in everybody's door. So that's the synopsis. Wow, it's really, really dangerous out there. What um put in the private chat what your email is gonna be so I can look out for it. Okay, I'm gonna email you after you're done. Okay, that's cool. Siren, are you dusty? Siren, are you dusty? Oh, I'm sorry, DZ. I was muted. I am not dusty. How are you? I'm amazing. What you got? Um, I'm a little nervous. I never actually don't be nervous. Here, so. Don't be nervous. We up here <laughs> saving some lives. Don't be nervous. I appreciate. Uh oh, sound like you disappeared. Either out. that you put your your mic back oh, on. I'm so me. sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I I was just saying that um, I wish I had come across your <clears throat> channel sooner. Maybe when I was in my early twenties. Um, you know, I just feel that. Um, a lot of information I learned once I left home and really divested from my family <laughs> and from, you know, the community at large. But I feel like I, I learned those things, you know, once I would had a child out of wedlock, dealt with. Um, do you, you know, consider yourself divested? I do now. Absolutely. Okay. What you got on these stories up here, boo? What, what we've been talking about tonight? What you got on that? Well, um, I'm from Louisiana, mm-hmm. and what I find interesting is just the lack of accountability. Um, just overall, we put the black community absolutely does not hold black men accountable for anything that they do. Um, my grandmother adopted two foster children in Louisiana, and two of her sons, um, my uncles, um, molested one of the girls when she oh was God. 11 oh years old Lord. and she actually has um a child from one of them one of my uncles so it was a child you know born mm-hmm. out of incestual rape and our word so we can keep this up our word my apologies mm-hmm. Um, sorry, it's, it's a difficult, you know, that's a, it's a difficult thing to talk about, but it's, it's amazing. The matter that you're talking about is difficult as hell. We're literally talking about an 11 year old that got made to have sex with her family member and reproduce the child. So that's really hard to talk about no matter what location you're talking about it. So I understand. And to this day, I mean, she does not get any type of protection from our family. Um, my they own didn't mother. arrest him? He went to jail. So he went to jail, but that was such a long time ago. And he went to jail for five years. And in five years, he was out. And my cousin, who I actually grew up with, um, he was, you know, the child born from that situation. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, my cousin, I mean, obviously, he has a litany of different issues. His mother is 11 years older than him. And my family, I mean, if you ask them, she was already sexually active before he got to her and, you know, they don't see it as rape. I mean, there's absolutely, and then there's the whole colorist thing in New Orleans as well. She doesn't really share the same phenotype as a lot of my family. So, you know, there's no, (laughs) there's no. Let me ask you this, Siren. Let me ask you this. Yes. I know you got the history. You know what your family's capable of, the people in your family capable of mammying and, and touching folks they have no business touching. 
have you put some space between you and these people? There's a there's a great deal of space. There's a whole Wonderful. two states <laughs> between. Wonderful. But it, it was a confusing um, family dynamic to navigate, you know, um, just the entire time that I went to college far, far away. I had four excellent years just really getting to know who I was outside of that family dynamic, which was amazing. But, you know, after college, I went back home and, you know, I had to find my way again. And in the last seven years, um, I have, but I always go back. Like, I wish I just knew the things that I knew now. Yeah, so no, there's no more going back, correct? Correct. Oh, no, absolutely. There's no okay. going back. Okay. <laughs> <Just make this laughs> no. Because, you know, you never know. Sometimes people be like, well, they family. Oh, well, it's been some years. No. Oh, people change all the bullshit. And I'm glad you decided not to go back. That's what's up. Absolutely. But I appreciate what you do. I mean, like I said, there are young girls who are getting this information while they're teens and in their early 20s. I mean, I think that's beautiful. And thank you for everything that you do. This has to be an exhausting <laughs> business to be in. And I appreciate everything that you do, DC. I appreciate y'all just as much as you appreciate me. And that's a fact. Thank yeah. you for coming up. Make sure you come back again. I will. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Bye-bye. Sherry Harris, are you dusty? I am not dusty. Can you hear me? I can hear you. And I, I don't know what it comes up as, but I got Story Harris on there. Oh, okay. It looks like uh, Shari Harris from where I am. Go ahead, yeah. boo. What you got on the stories we got up here? So I ended up, I wanted to start off with how I found your channel. Um, I ended up finding your channel just through the YouTube algorithms. And I know that it was another woman who came on before on another one of your, um, I don't know how you say it, like your YouTube stories or a session that you had. And mm -hmm. I know some people was questioning like, oh, she wasn't divested, but she had a 12 year old daughter and she didn't want her daughter to end up. I don't know if that sounds familiar to you. It does. We were talking to a lady that said she's an ally. And yes, she's, yes, married yes, yes. To a, she's married to a black man and she has a 12 year old daughter and she's trying to make sure that her daughter's divested. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes. So I kind of resonated with her. You hear my little one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on, Donnie. I'm coming. I kind of resonated with her because I'm like, OK, I understand the divesting, not to go off on a tangent, but I understand the divesting. And I have a 12 year old daughter. I have a 15 year old son and I have a four year old son. So it's kind of like a lot because I'm like, I got to the point where I understand these men that I'm dealing with. I understand the community and I only learned it through YouTube. I'm 32. I'm a millennial. And I didn't learn about the real state of the community until I already had children. So mm -hmm. I pretty much resonated with her. Like he's like, look, he's like, he's calling me about his, um, okay, well, pop, pop, I'm a clean it. Go ahead and take care of your baby. Go ahead and take care of your baby. Okay. I don't want you to keep him waiting. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. Right, we I'm... got it. We got okay. it. Okay. Okay. It's clean. Okay. So I, I was listening. I came in when you guys were talking about the STDs. Um, I went to college in the college town. Um, I went to the health department to try to get free birth control and the nurse practitioner, she was a black woman and she literally snapped what on me and she told me under no, I see it. She told me under no circumstances am I to ever, 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 ever have unprotected, you know what, I don't know what YouTube will take down with any of the black males in the community. And I was astonished. And it's like, I just wanted to come on to tell you to keep up the good work because there's a lot of us who just learning about this through YouTube and we're grown. We're mothers. We have children already. Mm -hmm. um, that's all I wanted to say. Keep it up. I don't care what anybody got to say. Y'all are empowering us. I'm trying to spread the word to my friends. I got to go easy on them because they're black male worshipers. They're black male centered. They don't understand what I'm talking about. They don't understand what I'm telling them. Like, hey, you're you're a smart, intelligent woman. All of my friends are bosses. Like, you can get nurses. rid of say goodbye to them. I'm sorry. You said what, ma'am? You can get ready to say goodbye to your friends, the mammy friends. You can get ready to say goodbye to them because um, one thing I know about trying to change a mammy's mind is 
virtually impossible. Mm-hmm. You know what? I be so I grew up in foster care. So when I say friends, they're literally like my foster sisters of people who've been around since about that era, even if they wasn't in foster care with me. So I try to try to keep them around because they're my version of my family. And I know it was a time where I was in their shoes, but it took for me to get on YouTube and start looking for black woman empowerment, black women, positive affirmations. And then Why some type of way I landed here and realized it's not all on the black woman. It don't matter how positive we get. If we are associating ourselves with trash, that's what we're going to end up with, period. So, he, he calling you. He, he calling you, baby. I don't want to I'm going to get off of here because I know y'all. He, I don't know how you release me, but y'all keep up doing what y'all doing. Man. Y'all got a little listener over here in Florida. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Be safe out there, all right? Y'all too. All right, bye-bye. For the youngins in the building, yes, motherhood. <laughs> you don't get to say, give me five minutes. Little kids do not give a fuck what you got going on, whether you sick, whether you just, you know, tired. They want you to pay attention to them. I appreciate her coming up here because that was a learning experience for folks that's thinking that they might want kids and they kind of on the fence about it. If you're not ready to be dictated, because the kids are dictators. If, if they're not dictating the house, you're going to end up with a neglect charge. Kids are dictators. They need to be bathed, fed, put to sleep. You got to help with the homework. You got to make sure they go to their doctor's appointments. You got to buy clothes. You got to do all this shit. And you got a bunch of people signing up to do all of that by themselves well dc how you know they sign up by themselves because they're having these babies with niggas and niggas leave 77 percent of the time that's how i know okay so remember that shit divestment i don't think she fully got it or she didn't want to get it divestment is a lonely process because you end up having to leave behind a lot of people because they cannot take your stance on the black man. That's the reason why it's so lonely. When you try to be friends with mammies, it never works because anytime you're trying to school them or educate them on something, it's always the same rhetoric. Not all. It's not all of them. You know, it's some good ones out there. Then they want to tell you about the unicorns. They know. It's the rhetoric. It's always geared towards either trying to get you to change your mind, but it's never... uh, Trying to remain in a friendship with a, a mammy as a divested woman is a disaster. It, mm-hmm. it, it, it really is. But for people who ain't ready to say goodbye to certain people, they'll never understand that. So mm-hmm. that's just what it is. It's going to be a little bit tough for her because she got like um, a need to have people in her life because she didn't have anybody growing up so she hanging on to what she can hang on to and that's the part that scares me you have to be ready to let every bitch go every bitch go every nigga go i don't care if they blood relatives or not look if they not about your life then they need to be let the fuck go and and i don't Mm -hmm. think she's ready for that either but i'm rooting for her ass because it's a lot of it's a lot of people who stop fucking with me after they found out some of my you know thoughts and opinions and it's like they knew I was telling the truth because a lot of the shit I was saying they could see in the niggas that they with so it's like at the same time but you mad at me for saying it and it's like how, how could you win in a situation like that ain't nothing getting between a mammy and her dick it just it, it ain't gonna happen true <laughs> true <laughs> That's true. I'm sorry. She'll take your fucking head off trying to stand between her okay. and that shit log. Um, pimp gang bitch. Okay, that's what your name is, but your device is not connected. You connect your device and you can get some goddamn smoke. Okay. I know that you're a black male, so I'm I'm sure that you can't read what's going on. It says devices not connected. When your device asks you, do you want to let stream yards get a hold of your microphone? In your uh, camera, you say allow. Allow is A L L O W. Click that, then take a breath, see what your device do- does next, and then click. Okay? K L S B, what's going on? K 
Hello, ma'am. You're on KLSB. Sorry, DZ. How are you? Hey, Amazing. panel. Y'all sound good as fuck. I just got to say, I ain't got no time to be caring about that woman in the them thumbnail and her damn tears. I'm sick of these mug mugs. Who almost got started cursing? I'm tired of hearing the tears. I'm tired of the protests. I'm tired of, oh, they just, oh, I'm tired. I don't, every time somebody dies or gets toe tagged, that is black. And then they family come on and start talking about how they was this and that and how in the system. And I just click off the video. I can't do it. I ain't got no sympathy for y'all asses. None whatsoever. I'm ashamed to admit that shit, honestly. Kids, women, children, old people, young people, alien, I don't care. Y'all should have did what y'all needed to do. I don't have the emotional capacity to care anymore. I don't have it. I just don't have I'm it. I'm hanging on. I mean, uh -huh. I'm trying so hard, but it's so difficult to keep up with the sympathy year after year after year. Hell, I as mean, far I as the black women go, it's every five damn hours. You can't get away from these stories. Y'all see the one that we just showed? It said June 22nd on there. That's how many there is. I haven't even got to the July emails yet. I, they sitting there waiting. And as I'm sitting here going live week after week after week, the stories are getting older and older and older because they're coming in so fast. Okay. Well, but they say we, we up here being extra. Well, and it's not, it, it's that dizzy. And it's also these young black children are younger and they are getting tried as adults for toe tagging people. I've been noticing Damn. the news actually putting their faces and names on the news lately. I've been I've been very surprised about that because when somebody's under eighteen, normally they'll they'll blur them out. That's Fox. That's Fox. Fox Man. will put you behind on t on on blast. They will put you on. They don't care. They they're not caring no more. Look, I'm so, enjoying them. Put it up there. We need to know. It, you know, what? you need to be able to put a name with a face. I don't care how old they are. If they did some violent shit, show everybody who that kid is so that they can yeah. keep their kids away from him. Okay? Or her, well, not, depending on who not she only is. that, but I mean, is the are the news outlets lying? Are we lying about these facts? No. No. Uh, I mean, all people have to do is run through a YouTube channel from January 1st, 2022 until now and take a tally on how many stories involve young black men and women doing treacherous crimes month and week after week after week. Just just do the tally. You ain't even got to go back last year or the year before. It's this is current time. So I don't oh, understand man. why people are have time and the emotional energy to talk about other people on YouTube. We need in September it's about to be a, a show. It'll be here before you know it, too. It's about to be a show. Everything is about to get real, real. And September is here in eight weeks. Y'all yep. better get to counting. Because August mm -hmm. is almost here. It's the 19th to me. So get get it together. But I, I ain't got no time, Dizzy. I have no time for that, for that lady on the screen and her peers. Ain't no reason why her daughter should have been 42 years old, had three grandchildren, three grandchildren and six children of her own. Ain't no, ain't no, and she crying. They won't leave these niggas alone. Mm -mm. I don't All right, know we, I, I love you. I love y'all, Pam. I'll see y'all in the Discord. Yes, ma'am. I love you back. Autumn says, y'all heard about Olympian Kim Glass getting attacked. Absolutely. Unapologetic actually shared that shit with me. And we both knew looking at the story, because when they first said it, y'all, she, um, it was just her saying that she had gotten attacked. And we was listening to the details of it. And they didn't mention the race of the man. But me and Apologetic was like, oh, you already know what that is. You know what it is. And as soon as they updated that story, it was a homeless ass. Okay, that word that I was getting ready to say is not YouTube friendly. You just use your imagination. It has a very hard R at the very end of it. He was homeless and he hit that girl so fucking hard. Her whole, I, I didn't recognize her from the pictures they had side by side. I'm like, that looks like a completely different woman. Her eye was closed shut. It was huge. Her eye was like three or four times bigger than what it normally is. And this is not somebody she was entertaining. This is not somebody she was dating. She wasn't even talking to the guy. Her and her friend came out of the restaurant and he attacked her unprovoked. 
So for the ones that saying, you know, I, I, you know, I ain't dealing with them like that, but they don't deserve to treat, be treated like that. I'm not trying to get with no black man, but don't nobody need to be beating up on them. Well, black men don't feel that way about you because all you have to do is come out of the damn restaurant and he slapped the shit out you with a fucking pipe. Okay, so help me understand this because I really didn't read that story. I saw a few people talking about it, but I didn't really get the full details. You mean to tell me some random stranger, a homeless guy, Mm -hmm. just slapped her with a pipe on her way out of the restaurant for no reason? Just like that. There was no... Mm -hmm. Listen... She didn't know him. She didn't deal with him. She hadn't spoke to him. Nothing. Her and her friend were coming out of the restaurant and out of nowhere because somebody else in the comments said she shouldn't have been standing there next to him. She wasn't. He hurled that uh, cap or a pipe directly at her fucking face. She almost lost her eye, y'all. I'm wondering as to why he singled her out specifically. I mean, it could have been anybody. I think it's because she was a black woman. You know, when we say they can't stand did he know who she was? I don't know what he knew. I just know that he saw a black woman and decided to slap her ass with a pipe for no that, reason. That's so crazy. Like now they just randomly attacking people. Like that's what I'm saying. You don't even have to be in Blackistan anymore. If they're anywhere in the vicinity, you still have to watch your bag. Exactly. Oh, it wasn't Blackistan. I think it was in LA. And most of LA, there is no more Blackistan anymore. Most of the homeless population out there are grapes and they're um, mean spirited. They're violent. They don't even panhandle like they do on the East Coast. They just stare people down and they're high and they're they're evil. And they are they do target uh, black females. So mm-hmm. this isn't surprising at all. Um, and I also just want to chime in. The, the lady who called with all the kids in the background and stuff, um, Irrespective of all that, I do agree with what she said about one thing. I'm a millennial too, DC. And mm-hmm. the reason why we appreciate you is because us millennials, like people in their 30s, you know, the elder millennials, we didn't have this type of content uh, early enough. You know, so people like me got lucky where we kind of saw the writing on the wall and saw that this community was fucked and we stayed away from grapes and didn't mm-hmm. get knocked up and stuff. But millennials didn't have this type of content. You know what I'm saying? Like they were they were on their own. Um I think the first content I saw earlier on when I was in school was the lady who has the, the color in her um, channel name now. You know what I mean? But there weren't a lot of you. So I think that's why so many of us appreciate you despite the fucking haters. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to add that too. I just wanted to I just wanted to chime in with her compliment. I, I agree with that part. I appreciate it's true. you saying we that. Really do. Because I mean, you got somebody really. in the comments saying, yes, we did. Really? Okay, well, here's oh. the deal. No, we didn't. <laughs> here's the deal. We, I've been what YouTube the, streets early. Is, why on earth are they so upset about the way we put it if it was already put this way? Right? No, we if, didn't. It, no mm-hmm. if it was already happening, if it was already out here on the streets like that. Why are they so upset? Where are all these new videos coming at divestors coming from? Yes, there were channels out here telling you to explore your options. Absolutely. But the all shit, no. It was explore your options, including black men, okay? It wasn't that other shit. We had some um, people out here that were fair and balanced. I can, listen, if we was able to name people up here, it's some awesome motherfuckers out here. I think um, Mocha, uh, the Blueprint, awesome. Kara D, awesome. It's a bunch of them out here. But what she's talking about is she, they, it wasn't widely spread like that, okay? Not the hardcore shit. Go ahead. Yeah, millennials been here through all of YouTube. Um, YouTube came out in like 07. We've been here. You, millennials were in school through all that. So we were listening. This was not out there. The lady with the color in her name, she got dragged for telling people to literally protect their WOMV. You know what I'm saying? So she got, she wasn't even telling you to avoid makers. Okay. So there was definitely no content this hardcore at that time not even halfway as hardcore we didn't have it and we're not even that old and we didn't even we didn't even get this and we're still young enough where we're still you know in our fertile years or whatever so some of us uh i mean some of us i guess fucked up and i guess they could course correct and some of us never fucked up so i mean i'm not saying it's too late for us but we didn't have this content at like 15 16 17 or starting out college that's what i'm trying to say my you know my first introduction to the internet was basically hearing black men dragging the fuck out of us. And I yes. know they had 
they had at least almost a decade and a half reign of that. And that was all it was. They went unchallenged and unrivaled. Nobody was standing up to that ass, period. They was letting these niggas push them around, talk to them like dogs, treat them any kind of way. They was putting dog collars on these women, dog walking them, okay? And well, then you had a few women. Dog. Dog. That's what they mm -hmm. was doing. Sitting up there saying, you know, we don't want to fight. We don't want to um, have any issues. We want to hear your side of it. And then maybe we can come together as a people. That's what a lot of them were saying. But it's a, a bunch of smaller content creators out here that they come just as hard and people go at them as well. Mm -hmm. It's just it's yeah. crazy. And I was about to say that, too, because one thing about Katie, she hardcore. She a slitch uh -huh. throw. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love, <laughs> you know, I so love I love her. Her. But um, cause she goes the fuck in, but it's it's not that many of us. It's really very few, cause everybody else be on some kumbaya, let's bow down and kiss they ass shit. Mm -hmm. But that's what I told DZ that one of the things that drew me to her was her savagery. Like she just didn't give a fuck. She said, "Look, when I turn this microphone on, I'ma say whatever." And when I like, she let start letting these motherfuckers have it. I'm like, hell yeah, that's what I'm that's what I've been waiting on. Somebody that's finna really get in that ass the way it need to be. Not everybody sitting around here playing these games. Well, maybe if we don't say anything to them, it won't be so bad. And we just gonna ignore them and not get them any attention or any shine. Meanwhile, these niggas dog walking their asses and getting millions of followers, and it's just they it's can't worse than it. that, girl. Remember um how the manosphere used to say, Oh, they hair nappy, oh, they're overweight. Over you saw them say, Oh, that's what the problem is. Then you had the natural hair movement come, right? Then you had weight loss journeys, and then you had femininity mm -hmm. because they were trying to give these black men what they want. The problem is they weren't telling you that they actually don't want you, and there's nothing you can do to fulfill that target. But they still chased it and chased it and chased it. My skin doing this. I got I get a pedicure every week. We're women too. We're women too. Oh, I lost 20 pounds and look at my twist out. And this is how you get the best twist out. Them niggas don't give a fuck what you do, boo. That's Listen, um, if 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 women were smart enough, you'd realize these men, especially the grapes, give you all the game for free, but you don't listen. You know yep. what I'm saying? They don't want you, and they've been trying to tell you. And one of their favorite lines is, the best pee you ever had is the pee you never had. So stop fucking with them, period. Good night. Yeah. Here we go, y'all. Pimp gang, bitch. Are you dusty? Now, you went and got yourself together. You found the allow button, right? You named yourself pimp gang, bitch. Now you're here. You finally made it after all of that shit. And now I got to tell you where the mute button is. Okay. It's an icon that looks like a microphone. When you have the slash through it, that means we can't hear your Tyrone ass mouth. Mm -hmm. What now? Are you, are you coming? Are, are you making another baby? What are you doing, bastard? Hello. You sound like you got a lot of jizz in your throat. You got to try it. Try again. What I'm sorry. You're what? Oh, this is scary. This is scary, DC. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh, my God. Welcome back, Shane. Hey, lady. You went through all of that shit. And this is the result. It kind of reminds me of Mammy going through all the, the motions trying to get shit done for for uh, for it to end up fucked up okay bonita fail are you dusty can you read as well hmm all right boo i'm gonna remove you too blackistan left the gate open somebody left the gate open okay come and get your ashes Right, I hope you know Feo in Spanish is ugly, so it might you might be right about that. Let's just keep that part real. Okay, <laughs> that's what Feo means in Spanish. The fuck? Welcome back, L. How are you? 
I'm okay. I had to leave for a minute, but y'all know I can't stay away from my sisters, from some <laughs> other sisters. Damn. <laughs> Who the fuck was that on here sounding like Freddy Krueger? Girl, <laughs> I don't know. They can't handle smoke night. They just can't. There's nothing you can do to rebut something like that. You just, you know, you got to start with the ad homonyms and trolling and sounding like you got a, a throat full of jizz type shit. Let me see who else we got because this is definitely smoke night. Um, Mona, Mona Lee makeup. Are you dusty? Hell no. Okay, what you got? <laughs> well, first of all, how everyone doing this evening? Awesome. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, I just want to thank you and I really appreciate your channel. And um, just like the other young lady said previously about us not really knowing, like, it's crazy because every time I go on YouTube, it's always another black girl being, you know, gunned down or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's really sad. So I just happened to come across um, a dusty panel. Um, I'm not going to say any names, but they were basically talking about how it's women fault that we're the one that's sleeping with the dusties and if we want to stop violence and all of that, all we have to do is keep our legs closed. Mm. Well, and be clear. Everything is your fault. Let's, let's get that out of the way. Mm -hmm. Everything is our fault and just by even listening to them, it just even pushed me even further away from them. Like, I'm just so tired of these niggas. I'm so well, one tired. One thing about what they said was keep your legs closed. Um, if you're going to be a mammy and take anything <laughs> away from what these niggas got to say, keep your legs closed is the best advice they ever gave your black ass. Let's just keep uh -huh. that part real. Facts. Keep <laughs> your legs together. But I For know real. that as a mammy, Right, because I've talked to so many of you bitches in real life and <laughs> online. Again. You I are turned all the way on by mm -hmm. the dust crust, the non shift ass niggas out here. It's like you your 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 ovaries start twerking mm -hmm. when these nasty motherfuckers come around. So if you mm -hmm. can just keep your legs closed, that would be a gigantic feat. If you're a mammy, that oh, would no, be amazing. I'm, no, mm -mm, I'm not a mammy at all. I'm far from it. And I Girl, actually, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to these mammies out here. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually wish it was like a way we can reach every black woman in the world. <laughs> and just, if all of us could just like stay the fuck away from them and also keep our legs closed, like it will be so much change, so much change. And that's exactly what his dusty ass said, too. He's like, oh, if y'all keep y'all legs closed, it won't be no more crimes, this, this, and that. Like, literally blaming everything on us. Okay, like, mammies, oh, mammy, check it out. Let me say this. Mammies, if you want them to be happy, they said stop having them. The black man said stop having him. You right. don't listen when other black women say it. The dusties, the one you love so much, said stop having them. Can you do that? That's what they want. Mm -hmm. They want you to quit having them. Mm-hmm. You know, and, that's who they're going to throw their panties at. The main one. And they blame, um, you know, being a single mother, of course, on the black woman. And I'm like, when are y'all going to freaking open your eyes and see? When Girl, are they, gonna they see? too delusional. They not finna see nothing. They too delusional and they don't want to believe that the B, the BMs don't want them. They don't want to believe that. They don't want to accept that. They just, uh, they refuse. The dick is not that good. Trust me. They it's don't need really to not give your orgasm. They do not know how to give you an orgasm, and they only last what two minutes tops. Like it's I'm gonna have to take your word for it because I ain't never had none of that nasty shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to take y'all. Me word fucking for neither. It. Me fucking. So you never been with a black man before? And no. Hell fucking no. Absolutely not. What? And for what, girl? Growing up, I seen the motherfuckers beat, be broke complain be unfaithful to the chick that's working two three jobs they don't know how to have like normal human contact it either <clears throat> got to be sexual or violent and i just mm -hmm. i saw that shit when i was in high school i got a lot of black men in my family okay wow. and they'll tell you how much of a bit which i am if you talk to them and i'm wow. very very proud of that shit i'm so wow, like so i you've said you've been woke you've been woke to everything why wow. girl it was That's scarring amazing. 
it, it was scarring. It, it took a lot to get there. It took a whole yeah. bunch of molestation and seeing a whole bunch of shit that was going Are on. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Yes, oh, ma'am. Oh, my God. That's horrible. With all these receipts out here, these bitches still out here on some bullshit. What they say? So that's this to get with. Black men. Of course, my black chocolate men. You see a guy like me? Would you smash or pass? Pass. 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 I heard saying they love the black kings. I mean, I'm half black, but they ain't out here showing the brothers no love. Okay, that video <laughs> is new. So they still out here saying it. That's why they was when I'm like, I'm hearing a whole bunch of shit about oh, it's it's getting better with the younger people, it's getting better with this group of people that no, they still not. want no, them. Have y'all ever okay. seen it doesn't matter what age the mammy is, the mammy could be 18 years old all the way up mm -hmm. to 118, and they mm -hmm. all say the same shit. They point at mm -hmm. white men, ask white men for everything on their daily need list, and then turn around and give black men the ass. It just but hold but hold on. I heard three times this week from different black men that white men don't want us. How the fuck okay. they know? Let me tell my husband that. That's what they want you to think. They want you to think that they don't want you and that you have no other options. So your best bet is to stick with them. But I look at them motherfuckers and be like, you a motherfucking lie, nigga. Because mm -hmm. I ain't interested. Mm -hmm. okay. Let me tell you something. Even, even if I, first of all, I have all kinds of options. I have no problems with non-black men asking me out on date. But secondly, let's say I didn't have any damn options. Being by myself with all these fancy new toys they got out now is still better than being with one of them. So they can kick rocks with that bullshit. I'm telling you, they come with the clit tickle and everything. The fuck you mean? I, I, have, I, I don't have one, I, but I heard the rose is some serious. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. They the rose. <laughs> <laughs> the old school ones are the bullet and the jackrabbit. Y'all better get mm -hmm. shit. Okay. Yeah, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. And I just wish I could just let every especially the younger women, like, because you know, they also had the it's first of all, they was on the live for quite some time. So we'll be on here all day if I told you bit bit for bit what they said. But uh, also another thing they said was when I was telling them about you know, um, I don't, am I allowed to say, like, you know, the M word? What's the M word? Uh, murder? The, yeah, murder. Yeah. Okay. So, I was telling them, like, <clears throat> the murder rate is, like, every four and a half hours, um, you know, black women are being murdered or whatever. And they were, like, basically downplaying it. Oh, that's not, that's not what's happening. This, this, and that. Like, um, what did he say? He used something else as an example. Like, just basically downplaying it. And, and this Girl, why are you over there talking to them and trying right. to read them? You know? <laughs> all right, what is that for? I'm, You're never gonna get anywhere, and they don't give a damn what you say or how you feel. Mm -hmm. And 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 you know what? Like I said, from them from then on, that's when I was like, you know what? I'm done. Like I tried, I tried, I tried. I'm officially. What, what do you mean done. you try? You try what? Like okay, y'all probably gonna drag me for this. But like, okay, oh, girl, please don't drag me. Please don't drag me. So basically, you know, they were talking they shit or whatever, and I was like, um, basically telling them what they need to do as men. Like, y'all need to stand up as men. Where was this? I'm sorry. Oh, you were trying to have a talk. This was this in person or online? I'm it was on. It, it was oh, online. It was on YouTube. It was on YouTube. I don't want to say don't, the don't say yeah the, please don't say no dusty name no, over no, here because no, they, they oh, gonna get erect and they gonna feel like somebody nah fuck that and bullshit but, but you know what's funny too y'all so after that whole conversation with them right do you know the next day they had another live talking about oh um which women is is more threat is a bigger threat to us black women or white women like what like wh why would a woman be a threat to you in the first place you got to understand um, something, makeup, okay? I don't know why people have conversations with these men. All of your questions have been answered. You can't name me one question you have for black men right now that they have not answered already. They answered y'all. Mm -hmm. And been answering for me for decades now. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't understand. When, when did this happen? I'm confused. I'm like wondering why you was even there. So Why was it the other day? Yes. So the other day. Oh, so God. The day before yesterday, actually, to be exact. Oh, mm. this was recent? This was recent. Now, mind you, I was Lord, already I was already at the end of my rope already. 
You know what I'm saying? And then they just made it like official. I'm like, okay, I'm completely done now. Like, I'm so just- in other words, you're not gonna do that shit no more. Hell right? to the no. That's what's Hell up. No. I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't drag you on the spot. Much less wait until the next live stream to do it. Mm-mm, I ain't doing that shit no more. I'm just, you know, focusing on me now and and focusing on protecting myself. You know what I'm saying? Like going to the gun range, doing what I gotta do, and you know, every black woman should do that as well. I gotta like, show you something. It's literally a war real quick. out here. Literally. Let me let me let me show you this real quick, y'all. I don't know what the hell this is gonna look like because I rarely share this particular screen right here. Okay, take a look. We got smoke you asked for that ain't gonna say shit when they get on here, and then we got pimp gang bitch again that came back the one that just learned how to read tonight remember him <laughs> and then we got old boy that changed his name from Bonita Fail to Jay this is what I'm talking about they always back here claiming that they got smoke and they ain't finna say a goddamn thing I just wanted to make sure y'all knew that I was not making this shit up these niggas stay back here they stay back here I'm surprised other boy ain't even here but the thing is Pimp Gang Bitch is the one that was growling, sounding like a rabbit dog when I brought him up here. Jay doesn't know how to speak at all and doesn't know where his mute button is. And I don't know what the smoke you asked for is even on. I have no fucking clue. Okay? You you clicking on this shit because I'm fixing to take my ass to my Discord. That's what you're doing, bitch. I know that's why you're doing this. Okay? Now let me stop sharing that shit and let's try this. Okay? Because y'all got me fucked up. Um, illiterate dude, what you want? I please, oh, hmm. y'all, that's a monster playing on the phone for real. Mm-mm. I want to talk about abortion. That's the bitch you can call up and come up with. I know why you want to talk about abortion because you mad at your mama for not having right. it. Right. Too fucking late. She should have been did it, bitch. Mm-hmm. Y'all should keep on birthing. Hey, ugly monster. How's your frog? <laughs> <laughs> you saw like he swallowed a whole frog. It's I just so bored. I can't do it and smoke for you. Think he fixing a porn bomb this place. Ain't nobody fixing to let you up here. He ready to pull that shit log out. This is y'all's man. <laughs> Hey Amen. That's y'all's men. I can't. I'm headed to the Discord. I love y'all. Oh, I appreciate man. y'all. Oh, hey, man. motherfucker, shut your goddamn throat up with your weird ass. You weird as fuck. You a whole fucking weirdo. Take your ass up off of the goddamn internet and find something to do, bastard. Bye. Anyway, love you, ladies. Talk to you later. <laughs> love you. Bye. 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 Thank you.